From Ranger Field in Alva, it's the Class C semifinal between the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and the Timberlake Tigers on the Scordal High School Football Game of the Week. Our presentation brought to you by our presenting sponsor, High Plains, High Plains Insurance. Also, Alfalfa Electric Cooperative, Devron Mowing Service, Jansen GMC, First Day Bank of Pond Creek, JKJ Real Estate and Auction, Sturgeon's Corner, Teft Plumbing, Wilson Funeral Home, Greasy Steve's Food Prep Company, BA Automotive, Touchdown Graphics, and Nathan Crow, your farmer's insurance agent in Medford. Good evening, everybody, on this Thanksgiving weekend. It's a Black Friday, and very appropriate, our two teams, primary colors, are black as the Timberlake Tigers take on the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers. Timberlake is 9-3 and three on the season, finished third in C1 with a record of 5-2. and two. The champion of C1 was Pond Creek Hunter, 12-0 and 0 overall, 7-0 in the district. And this is matchup number two between these two teams. It was a pretty good ball game. Pond Creek Hunter's best of, uh, ball game back in late September. A touchdown win, 46-38 was the final score in that ball game. So glad to have you with us. Randy Turney by my side and coach. We're familiar with both these teams. A couple of teams from Northwest Oklahoma and a couple of coaches who have been doing it for a long time. You bet. Uh, one, uh, both coaches have been in the same school uh, for a long time. Uh, uh, 21 years for David Kerr at Pond Creek and 27 years for Brian Severn at Timberlake. It is Pond Creek, Hunter, and Timberlake coming up. We will take a break. From Ranger Field and Alva, this is the Scordal High School Football Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. For generations, the FFA has been helping our children through agriculture to grow into responsible adults. We believe in and we support the work being done by our local FFA chapters and all they do to create an enriching experience for our youth. For all you do, you have our thanks. Farm Credit of Enid. Together, we grow. Severin Mulling in Goltree is proud to support the Timberlake Tigers in tonight's game. Brandon Severin can make your yard or area look great. He can provide many services, mowing, weed eating, edging, leaf and sidewalk blowing, and more. He will service customers throughout the area, Enid, Goltry, Kremlin, and anywhere in between. Call 580-977-9333 or email severinmowing at yahoo.com. Let Brandon Severin make your property look spectacular. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino has what you need to keep your business rolling, whether over the road or on the farm. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales has a current selection of highway and farm trucks to get the job done for you. From sleepers, day cabs, and grain trucks to dump trucks and more. Give Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales a call at 580-776-2245. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino. Whether it's football or banking, talent, effort, and teamwork are essential elements in winning the game. At the First State Bank of Pond Creek, they've been providing consumer, commercial, and agricultural banking services since 1893. With a full-service banking facility in the Heritage Hill Shopping Center in Enid and their main branch in Pond Creek, you'll never have to drive far for that personal banking touch. Find them on the web at fsbpondcreek.com. The First State Bank in Pond Creek backs the Panthers in tonight's game. Member FDIC. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. It was weeks before Christmas when Jansen GMC started preparing themselves for the crowd they would see. Out on the lot, there arose such a clatter of salesmen and inventory and a great deals that matter. For Acadias and Sierras, pre-owned and new, Yukon's Denali's and other vehicles too. Shop on the web or come see us on site at Jansen GMC. We'll treat you just right. Happy Holidays! Jansen GMC. Drive a little, save a lot. Pond Creek Hunter and Timberlake as we are ready for high school football about five minutes away as they'll play for a trip to the Class C state championship game next week. 
where they will take on either Waynoka or Tipton. They're playing tonight. The winners of each of those games will match up to go for a gold ball next week. Let's focus on Pond Creek Hunter, the Panthers, for just a second. Undefeated, 12-0 on the season, averaging a 46-6 win over the course of the season with wins over Crimlin Hillsdale, Medford, DCLA, Timberlake, also Belco, Forgan, at Buffalo, Waynoka, Tyrone, Boyce City, Fox, and Covington Douglas, those last two wins in the playoffs over Fox, 54-6, and Covington Douglas, 48 to nothing. And when you talk about Pond Creek Hunter, Coach, you talk about Noah Miller, almost 1,500 yards rushing. He's a very athletic kid. He's tough to stop. Yeah, he's going to carry the ball a lot, and that's the uh, key to stocking them is to get them into a passing situation. And, you know, the, I was thinking about coming over here. The weather really favors Pond Creek tonight because they l like to pound it and run it. And, of course, Timberlake, last time they played Pond Creek, uh, threw it 41 times, so that's what they'd like to do. So it'll be a, a game chess match between uh, who can control uh, the ball on the ground or who can move the ball through the air. Coincidentally, you say that I talked to Brian Severin before the ball game. That's exactly what he said. He goes, I wish it wasn't raining tonight. I wish it wasn't. Uh, wasn't moist. It's not raining. It's a heavy mist, but it is moist out there and wet. That means that ball is going to be a little hard to throw maybe. Uh, you know, and sometimes uh, footing can be a problem, and uh, sometimes it's hard for the defensive backs to stay up with the offensive players also. Pond Creek Kenner in the semis for the fourth consecutive year. A year ago, they lost to Tipton in the semifinals. They lost to Tipton in the finals in 2016 and 2017. And, of course, uh, if you know your Pond Creek Hunter history, you know that they've had three state championships in their history, 85, 2001, and 2002. Timberlake in the greatest turnaround in school history. They were 2-8 and eight a year ago. They are 9-3 and three in the state semifinals this year. And Brian Severn, just another year for Brian Severn. He's been there for a long time, and he takes those kids and molds them into players. Yeah, last year I talked to him several times. Uh, he said every time they'd have practice or have a game, somebody's going down. Down, they were just riddled with injuries last year and and this year you know the luck has changed and they finally got some healthy bodies they scored 29 points a game they give up 21 per contest opened up the season a win on the road at Covington Douglas before losing to Ringwood knocked off Kremlin Hillsdale before that loss at Pond Creek Hunter in late September bounced back with wins over a Boy City Balco Forgan Sharon Mutual and Buffalo then lost away Noka 8-6, beat Tyrone 54-6, got into the playoffs and outlasted Mountain View Goaty Bow 28-24. Then last week a huge upset knocked off previously undefeated Southwest Covenant 40-26. It is Timberlake and Pond Creek Hunter coming up. We'll take a quick break and come back with your kickoff. This is the Scordal Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance. It was weeks before Christmas when Jansen GMC started preparing themselves for the crowd they would see. Out on the lot, there arose such a clatter of salesmen and inventory and a great deal that mattered. For Acadias and Sierras, pre-owned and new, Yukon's Denali's and other vehicles too. Shop on the web or come see us on site at Jansen GMC. We'll treat you just right. Happy Holidays! Jansen GMC. Drive a little to save a lot. Tom Nelson, the coach, Randy Turney, back with you at Ranger Field and Alba for this Class C semifinal. Timberlake won the toss. They will get the football to start this thing. We'll get a chance to see quarterback Ethan Jenlink. He's a sophomore who's thrown for almost 2,400 yards this season. And as we said, threw the ball 41 times in the first matchup. That put Pond Creek Hunter back on their heels a little bit. He did throw four interceptions, but him spreading the field, throwing the football, Threw them a bit for a loop and a couple of quick touchdowns in that fourth quarter. Got them back within a touchdown late in that one. Yeah, they, they actually had the lead there in the second quarter yeah. during that ball game. Aaron Kerr will tee it off for Pond Creek Hunter, and we are underway. Taking on a bounce to the 18-yard line and the return to the near sideline across the 30 to the 35. And a nice return. That is J.J. Pippen. We'll talk about him. The quarterback is Ethan Jenlick, 157 of 311 passing for 2,300 and 28 yards, 27 touchdowns, and 16 interceptions. He's completing 51% of his passes. Devin Kent is the tailback, 188 carries for 1,061 yards and eight rushing touchdowns. He averages 56 yard or 5.6 yards per carry. 
They'll put him in motion, dump it out to him in the left flat. This is actually a backward lateral, so considered a run. He will not get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard on this one. He was tackled by John McGrath, and it will be second down and 11. Yeah, we've got a spotter in the booth, thank goodness, because if you watch Pond Creek playing their <laughs> gray uniforms, they got black numbers, and it's tough to so, to find out who's making the tackle. No doubt about it. We appreciate John Cope spotting for us tonight. Jenling's going deep, and it's incomplete. The pass was intended for Alec Judd on the coverage was Mason Schaefer. That'll bring up second down and 11. You can tell what the game plan is. Uh, two plays, two passes. So third down and 11 now. Just underway, 11.20 to play in the first quarter. Opening possession for the Timberlake Tigers. Jen Link will hand, oh, play action, right side. And really threw it in between two receivers on the coverage, Fisher Miggy. And Pippen was the intended receiver. It's fourth down and 11. And a quick three and out. That is not what Timberlake wanted right there. Yeah, it's good coverage that time. There's really double coverage out there on the outside. And Pretty fortunate to not have that picked off. So on fourth down and 11, the line of scrimmage, the 34-yard line. Devin Kent will stand back inside his 25-yard line to punt this one away. And Noah number, Miller is uh, back uh, deep. Number seven, Xander Clayton. He just went in. And there's the kick away. It'll take a bounce and be down to the 40-yard line was downed by Merrick Judd, so Pond Creek Hunter will take on first down and 10, and they'll start the drive from the 40-yard line. And this drive will start with 11.06 to play in the first quarter. Pond Creek Hunter's quarterback is Jake Ronk, 65 of 90 passing for 1,233 yards, 17 touchdowns and three picks. Noah Miller, 103 rushes for 1,454 yards, 24 rushing touchdowns. He's averaging 14 yards a carry. Gets his first carry right here. The cut back across the 45-yard line out of the 47. Tackle was made by Devin Kent, but a nice gain on first down of about eight to bring up second down and two. Yeah, you can tell by watching Miller. He's got good vision and reads his box well, and that was a good cut back that time against the grain to pick up about eight yards on first down. Nick Campbell in the fullback, he's rushed for over 600 yards, 94 carries for 645 and 10 touchdowns. Second down and eight from the 48-yard line. And this time it's Ronk around the right side, gets to the edge and has running room, 35-30. Cuts back to the middle of the field, down to the 20-yard line, and be down at the 21. Yeah, that happens when you try to key on Miller that time. Uh, it just kind of bootlegged it out to the right side, and there was nobody there. It was a good run by Ronk. 27-yard gain for the quarterback, Jake Ronk, tackled by J.J. Pippen, first down and 10 from the 21. As Pond Creek Hunter just shy of the red zone here on their opening drive of the ball game. So glad to have you with us tonight from Ranger Field and Alva. First down and 10. Handoff this time, running room, and nah, not a whole lot there for Noah Miller. He'll get inside the 20-yard line down to the 17. He was Braxton Buller, number Braxton 18. Braxton Buller, I tell you what, Braxton Buller, a preseason All-Stater in Class C. Buller's one of those kids that missed last year because of a knee injury. Gain of four on that play, the run by Miller. His second carry of the night brings up second down and six. Give it to Noah again, and he'll be stopped at about the line of scrimmage. Good push yep. as he was dragged back by Dylan Schloop. And so here's third down and six. A big opportunity for Timberlake to get an early stop. That was good pursuit that time of Timberlake because they had about two or three guys, and that's what you have to do to get Miller on the ground. We'll tick down to the nine-minute mark here in the first quarter of a scoreless ball game. Pond Timberlake went three and out of their opening drive. Here is third down and six for the Panthers. The 17-yard line. Ronk up under center, a two-back set. Up the middle, running room for Noah Miller right into the end zone. Touchdown. So Noah Miller with the 17-yard seven touchdown run. That will make the score six to nothing. 
And it comes with 8.49 to play in the first quarter. Yeah, nothing fancy that time off of right guard, just followed uh, Hamlin up in the hole, and nobody touched him there to get in the end zone. So a big 17-yard touchdown run on third down and six from the 17-yard line. They'll go for two. Ronk in the shotgun. Oh, but it's actually a direct snap. That's Noah Miller back there, and he'll come up short. Miller lined up in that quarterback position in the gun in the Wildcat formation and came up a yard short on the two-point conversion. Braxton Buller with the stop. 8.49 to play in the first quarter at 6 to nothing. Pond Creek Hunter on top. This is the game of the week on Squirtle. Alfalfa Electric Cooperative in Cherokee, Oklahoma is proud to be member-owned. We have been providing affordable and dependable service to communities in Oklahoma and Kansas since 1937. Ask about our Smart Hub app where you can pay your bills, report outages, and check usage. At Alfalfa Electric Cooperative, we strive every day to be the best we can be, and we encourage all our local athletes to do the same. Go Chiefs! Wilson Funeral Home is a proud sponsor of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers football team. Since 1929, Wilson Funeral Home's professional and caring staff has helped to ease families' burdens during difficult time of loss. For assistance in the preparation of a personal memorial service for your loved one, contact Wilson Funeral Home in Pond Creek at 580-532-4222. Everyone at Wilson Funeral Home wishes the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and their supporters good luck. Pond Creek Hunter marches down the field, five plays, 60 yards in two minutes and 17 seconds. A 17-yard touchdown run by Noah Miller. For Noah, it's his 25th rushing touchdown of the season. And the Panthers quickly on top, six to nothing after the two-point conversion run by Noah Miller came up short. A return taken on a bounce near sideline across the 30-yard line, angling toward the far sideline now. J.J. Pippen has running room across the 45-yard line and a late flag. He was tackled by Xander Clayton, and there'll be a face mask as well, which, which should mean good starting field position by the time this is all said and done for Timberlake, and that's exactly what they need to hang it against the uh, most explosive team in the state. Guess got a message from Coach Hendricks. He didn't make the trip, but he's home watching or on uh, the school app and. We'd like to wish him well. Oh, and, you betcha. And uh, thank him about Coach Hendricks. You betcha. Coach Hendricks of Pond Creek Hunter High School. They'll start this drive at the 38-yard line, first down and 10. The drive starts with 8 minutes and 40 seconds to play in quarter number one. That's just what the doctor ordered for Timberlake. Back to throw is Ginlink. Left side. Ooh, that was should have been picked. Should have been picked. As it is incomplete pass. And uh, tell you who had the uh, – Xavier Smith. Yep. He should have had that pick and might have gone the other way. But Ethan Genlink has started off 0 for 3 passing, and he should have been uh, credited with an interception right there at second down and 10. Sometimes a wet football is your fa in your favor. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. From the 38-yard line, Timberlake in the white uniforms, Pond Creek Hunter in the black tonight. Pitch near side. Kent tries to get to the edge and nothing doing as he is taken down for a loss by Fisher Miggy. He'll lose yardage back to the 40-yard line to bring up third down and 12, a loss of two. Yeah, first line play there. There's Pond Creek's all over that. So now third down and 12, the line of scrimmage to the 40-yard line. Timberlake most likely in two-down territory already. If they would pick up about half of this, they'd most likely go for it, try to move the chains. Put the man in motion from left to right. That's Devin, uh, Devin Kent, and now Genlink to throw, but yeah, nobody's open. Near sideline pass incomplete. All kinds of great coverage downfield, and that was, pass was intended. It's from Merrick Judd. Take it back. It is uh, Alec Judd. Yep, double coverage, too, on the sideline. He can't get better coverage, any better coverage than that. Well, so now it's fourth down and 12. And from the gun, Genlink is back to throw. 
toward the end zone. There's a man open, but it's short-armed, and he almost made the catch inside the 10-yard line as the pass hung up a little bit. That was intended for Merrick Judd. On the coverage was John McGrath. So Pond Creek Hunter will take over. Yeah, we get a, just a little bit more on that. We had a chance to make that catch because the defense kind of got turned around. So PCH will take over first down and 10. They'll start this drive on their own 40-yard line with 7.39 to play in the first quarter. They are on top six to nothing already. Noah Miller, four carries, 29 yards, and a touchdown. This time the direct snap to Miller, and he slips out of one tackle and stays on his feet and takes a play that he would, should have lost three yards yep. on and gains a yard. Yeah, good pursuit that time by Nacion, but he got away and Miller made a few yards out of it. And Devin Kent gets credit for the tackle. The gain, let's give him two to the 42-yard line. Second down and eight. So much on the line. These two teams haven't played a whole bunch of times over the years, considering how close they are to each other. I'll talk about that in a second. It's second down and eight. And this time, a tackle in the backfield by Braxton Buller. That's a good tackle that time. He just fought off his block and, and made the tackle one-on-one, -on -one, got down low on Miller's legs, which is what you got to do. That was actually Hamlet on that carry. And he'll lose a yard, bring up third down and 11. Back at the 41. So once again, of course, the last time it was third down and relatively long, third down and six. Noah Miller took it to the house for a touchdown, but here's another big third down play, third down and nine for the Timberlake defense. Yeah, last time he was running a power play uh, mm -hmm. over, over the right guard. Ronk wants to throw this time, dumps it out near side, incomplete through the hands of Nick Hamblin. That'll bring up fourth down and nine. On the coverage is Braxton Buller coming out to cover Hamblin. That's a good job by the defense that time of Timberlake to get this drive stopped and get the ball back. So fourth down and nine, and you would imagine that Pond Creek Hunter would punt. Coach's son Aaron Kerr is the punter. He's only punted four times this season for a 35 and a half yard average. Devin Kent stands inside his 20-yard line. Here is the snap in the boot. Angling toward the far sideline and out of bounds, Pond Creek Hunter will try to pin Timberlake back. Let's see where they're going to mark this one off at. Back across the 25-yard line, across the 30, and mark it right at the 35-yard line. That is where Timberlake will take over. Six to nothing, our score. Pond Creek Hunter on top, just shy of halfway through the first quarter here at Ranger Field, the campus of Northwest Oklahoma State University in Alva. Great facility, and a great facility for these two schools because they're both relatively close. You bet. You couldn't ask for a better draw than that. So from the 35, on first down, no, no running room at all for J.J. Pippen, the fullback, as he'll lose about three. Great defensive play, Noah Miller. Let's set that uh, Pond Creek Hunter defense for you really quick. The cornerbacks are Xander Clayton and John McGrath, the safety Corbin Burnham. The linebackers are Xavier Smith, Noah Miller, and Fisher Miggy in the two-man front. The tackle is John Theophilus, and the nose guard is Kellen Claflin. Here's second down and 13. Just going to rush two this time. Dump it out near side into space to Kent, and Kent will find some running room. He'll be knocked out about a yard shy of the first down. It's good blocking that time on the outside by number 14 and number 11 from Timberlake. And Corbin Burnham on the stop. Gain out to the 44-yard line. Gain of 12 brings up third down and one. Yeah, Judd and Pippen that time threw some good blocks to get him some running room there. And Devin Kent, that's his 53rd catch of the season. Big play right here on third down and one for Timberlake to try to keep this drive alive. Hand it off to Kent, tries to bounce it outside, gets to the edge and will pick up the first down, lowers a shoulder to the 50-yard line. He was taken down by Noah Miller, moved the chains first down for the Timberlake Tigers. So 
Devin Kent, three carries now for three yards. <coughs> and the ball right at the midfield stripe. Option to the near side. It will be the quarterback, Jen Link. Bounces 40, 35, 30. Down to the 25-yard line. Stays on his feet down to the 23. He was tackled by Mason Schaefer, but not before a big gain by quarterback Ethan Jenlink from the 50-yard line. They will mark this one down to the 23. It's a gain of 27. He got a tackle there right past the line of scrimmage there and bounced out of there and showed his speed down the sideline to set Timberlake up in good field position. So the Tigers first down and 10 from the 23-yard line. Jen Link will hand off to Kent, left side, little running room down to near the 15-yard line. The marking with the 15, he was tackled by John McGrath. That's twice now that they run Kent around that left side, getting some good blocking on the left end. Gain of eight down to the, let's see, down to the 15. Right on the 15. It's a good-looking drive for Timberlake to, after they stopped uh, Pond Creek on their second possession. Hand off up the middle. That's J.J. Pippen. I think he may have gotten the first down. Got awful close if he didn't. Tackled by Fisher Miggy. Call it short, looks like. So third down and short. Now we're going to call for measurement. Ball resting at about the 13-yard line. Big play on this drive, the 23-yard run by quarterback Ethan Jenlink. He did that on a second ever, too. He yes, got, he did. He got hit right past the run of scrimmage and kind of spun out of it and showed great speed getting down the sideline. Ethan's had a good year for a sophomore. It is a first down. Every by about half the length of the football. So first down and 10 for the Tigers. Boy, this is exactly what Timberlake needed after giving up that punch early on, that quick touchdown on the opening drive by Pond Creek Hunter. It's the main thing is keep the ball away from Pond Creek's that's, offense. That's exactly right. They're having a little more success running the football than they did the last time these two teams yeah, played. Yeah, got to mix it up a little. They're having a good job. Pitch left side, Kent again follows his blocker pipping around the corner, and he was thrown out of bounds by Xavier Smith. Yep. Of course, you'll notice when you're watching the ball game on the eight-man field, on the eight-man dimensions on an 11-man field, you got that tapering down the near side and the far sideline. Yeah, sidelines are just underneath the numbers. So a gain of one on the play to the 12-yard line. Back to throw this time, Jen Link. Now he's flushed and wants to run down to the 10, down to the 8. He'll end up picking up 4. He was stopped by Noah Miller. So here's 3rd down and about 5 or so. And they've got 2 plays to get this one home. As we tick down there, 4 minutes remaining in the first quarter. Pond Creek Hunter on top, 6 to nothing. And Link this time wants to throw right side ball caught at the two and into the end zone for a touchdown. Alec Judd with the reception. That was a nice throw and a nice little catch and run to get into the end zone as Ethan Jenlink hits Alec Judd for the eight-yard touchdown pass on third down and five, and we're tied at six with 3:56 to play in the first half, first yeah. quarter. A little stop and hitch right there, and a exactly defense right. a little. little a little soft on the defense, and he kind of lost his foot in, uh, that time, and they let him get in the end zone. Alec Judd's 31st catch of the season. They go for two, back corner of the end zone. It's t Oh, he got a foot in. He makes the catch. That'll put Man. Timberlake on top, 8-6. to six. That was a tremendous reception, yeah. and that was Merrick Judd, Alex's and, cousin. And he stood just barely over the defense, too. You couldn't throw that any better. We'll take a break. 3.56 to play in the first quarter. It's 8-6 to six Timberlake. This is 
the game of the week on Squirtle. Let Butch and Arnie at BA Tire and Automotive in Pond Creek help with your automotive repair needs. We use up-to-date diagnostic equipment to identify and fix your car's problem. We're located at 510 West Aspen in Pond Creek. Give us a call at 580-532-6233 or check us out on Facebook at BA Tire and Automotive LLC. Our regular hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We look forward to seeing you soon. Nathan Crow at Farmers Insurance is Grant County's hometown insurance agent. For auto, home, renters, business, life insurance, and more, Nathan is a local caring agent who will personally meet with you and find the policies that best suit you. At Farmers, they love discounts. Teachers, librarians, doctors, RNs, law enforcement, firefighter, military, and others. No insurance company offers more. Call Nathan Crow at 580-395-3333 or stop by his office at 102 East Cherokee in Medford. Nine play, 65 yard drive in two minutes and 39 seconds and Timberlake is on top eight to six after the eight yard touchdown pass from Ethan Jenlink to Alec Judd. The two point conversion from Jenlink to Merrick Judd. Timberlake has the lead and the kick goes out of bounds. And Pond Creek Hunter will have it down for the first time tonight. Tom Nelson, the coach, Randy Turney with you from Ranger Field and Alpha. This drive will start from the 35-yard line. And on first down, nothing doing. As Hamblin had tr trouble getting out of his own backfield, no gain on the play. Dylan Schloop with the nice play. Second down and 10. Tell you what, Timberlake played with an extra spring in their step after having some success, both yeah. offensively and defensively, against these Panthers. That's what a lot of success will do. It'll yep. Get your enthusiasm up and play with a little bit more adrenaline. So, second down and 10 from the 35. One back set, handed off to Noah Miller. He steps out of a tackle, but he's tackled from behind after a gain of about two. As he was stopped by Dylan Schloop again. Gain, let's give him four, bring up third down and six. Tipton leading Wanoka 14 to six early in that game at Southwestern. Down in Weatherford tonight, the winner of that game takes on the winner of this one for the Class C State Championship next week. Third down and six. Back to throw this time is Ronk across the middle. Ball caught. He's tackled shy of the first down, though. Catch was made by John Theophilus. He was tackled by Merrick Judd. Decision time for David Kerr. It's fourth down and a long one, almost two. The ball resting at the 44-yard line, a gain of five. That'll be an easy decision when he got number <laughs> number 10 in the backfield. No doubt about it. John Theophilus, his 22nd catch of the season. It'll be hard to stop him for a yard. Fourth down and a long one. Nice set. Hand off. Bounce from their side. Running room and a lot of running room. There goes Noah Miller to the house. Touchdown. Fourth down and one. That's what could happen when you're focusing on trying to stop him from getting that yard. You can bust it outside. There's nobody back to stop him. And Noah Miller scores from 54, 56 yards out for the touchdown. Yeah, when he bunched in there and you bust one right there, he just popped it to the outside and nobody was there. Just a sprint to the end zone. So the quick answer for Pond Creek Hunter, they go on top 12 to 8 with 150 to play in the first quarter. 56 yard run, he's now got seven carries for 91. He went for over two bills the first time around, 26 for 221 and three touchdowns the last time these two teams played. And before the two point conversion, David Kerr calls timeout. We'll take it with them. 150 to play in the first quarter. 12 to 8, Pond Creek Hunter. This is the game of the week on Scordal. 
Good. Planning an auction? Look no further than JKJ Real Estate and Auction Company to sell your real estate, farm machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Contact Keith James and Enid, Lon Sturgeon and Mino, Doug Walker and Crescent, Chad Reb and Helena, or LD Rapp and Wakita. Let their hardworking and experienced staff conduct a successful auction for you. Since 1968, JKJ Auction and Real Estate has been helping you say, sold, at 1301 East Willow in Enid, 580-233-9800 and jkjauction.com. Von Creek Hunter gets the touchdown to go back on top, the 56-yard run by Noah Miller. They burn the timeout to set up the two-point conversion play, and they'll put Noah Miller in the Wildcat. Von Creek Hunter came up short on their two-point conversion run after their first touchdown. Snap to Miller, left side. He's short again. Yep. Good over tackle. Two, over two on two point conversions right there. Big, big stop. Once again, Dylan Sloop. Man, we'll take a break. 150 to play in the first quarter. It's 12 to 8, Pond Creek Hunter. This is the game of the week on Scordle. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics. It's good. the pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Pond Creek Hunter with the answer. Four plays, 65 yards in two minutes and six seconds. Noah Miller with a 56-yard touchdown run. Once again, though, they came up empty on the two-point conversion. Now 12 to 8 the score on the return from the 22-yard line. That is Pippen following his blockers up right <laughs> in the middle of the field to the 45. Might have been a late uh, ball loose maybe. I think the ball pop out of there? Nah, I, I think he's got it. He might have just squirted through yeah. there. I think he did at the 46-yard yeah. line. Tackle made by Corbin Burnham. Yeah, he did a good job of just getting in there and hiding behind his blockers and using them as a convoy. Good starting field position from the 46-yard line. This drive starts with one minute and 40 seconds to play in the first quarter. Timberlake scored in their last drive, marched down the field, nine plays, 65 yards in two and a half minutes. This time it is... The direct snap to Pippen. Pippen will get to the 49-yard line, picking up about three. I'll take it back. It wasn't Pippen. It was actually Schloop. And the tackle was made by Xavier Smith. So Schloop on the carry. And he'll pick up a couple. Second down and eight. Ooh. Ball's loose, and I think Pond Creek Hunter jumped on it. I think you're right. Right there, I think Miller's got it. So the turnover, Noah Miller falls on the loose ball, and Pond Creek Hunter will try to capitalize on the first turnover of the ball game. Yep. One under center that time and just pulled out a little bit quick. Of course, ball a little wet. And it's kind of hard to hang on to it, but. Muller was there in a hurry. So PCH starting this drive in Timberlake territory. Best starting field position of the night for them. And on first down, give it to the fullback right up the middle. That is Hamblin who's rumbling inside the 35-yard line. Down to the 33. Right in, right up behind the center that time. Stopped Just by Braxton Buller. Gain of 14. So first down and 10. Final minute plus of the first quarter. Pond Creek Hunter just scored to grab the lead back after the turnover. They've got it right back, and they're marching down the field. The two back set 
with Ronk up under center. Handoff this time. Once again, it's Hamblin down to the 29, picking up about four. Stop was made by Devin Kent. So Nick Hamblin a couple of runs here on this drive to bring up second down and six. And they'll have to get off at least one more play here in this quarter, about a 10-second differential between the play clock and the game clock, with 30 ticks remaining in the first quarter. That two-back set again. And Ronk this time wants to bootleg around the right side. Can he get to the edge? He's pushed out of bounds. Nice play. That is Merrick Judd on the stop. They run that play early in the first quarter that time. Just fake that and bootleg it out to the right that time. But played a little bit better that time by the defense of Timberlake. Gain of four on the run. And that'll be the final play of the first quarter. Good ball game so far from Alva. Pond Creek Hunter, the Panthers, on top of the Timberlake Tigers, 12 to 8. This is the game of the week on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. Don't let the name fool you. Greasy Steve can cook. Greasy Steve's Food Prep Company is Pond Creek's tastiest dining experience. Let Greasy Steve do the cooking. He does it all. Steaks, chicken, shrimp, catfish, burgers, and salads. Don't miss Wednesday night shrimp, chicken fried steak on Thursday, all-you-can-eat catfish on Friday night, and aged ribeyes on Friday and Saturday night. Stop in and say hi to Greasy Steve on the curve on the west side of Pond Creek. Just be nice because it ain't easy being greasy. Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek is a fan of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and is a proud supporter of all the Grant County student athletes. Call Chad at 580-747-9367 for all your plumbing needs. Whether residential, commercial, new construction, remodeling, or repairs, he has the solution for your plumbing situation. Full professional services and upfront pricing. Grant County's answer to your plumbing issues is Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek. 580-747-9367. Pond Creek Hunter with the big edge and total yardage in that first quarter, 144 to 56, but on the scoreboard much closer, 12 to 8. Pond Creek Hunter on top of Timberlake, and we are hearing that across the way that quarterback Ethan Jinlink for Timberlake was injured on that last sequence. And he has his arm in a sling over there. So we'll see what happens when Timberlake gets the football back. First down gained out of the 21-yard line. Stop was made by Dylan Schloop. That carry that time by Noah Miller. From the 25 down to the 21, gaining four. He's got his helmet off. That's not a good sign. Nope. Merrick Judd is the backup quarterback for Timberlake, which means he plays quarterback and you take take away a weapon on the outside. Hamlin on the carry and for Pond Creek. Alec Judd on the stop, a gain of four. Down to the 17-yard line. Hamlin now has over 20 yards rushing in the ball game, five carries for 21 yards. As Pond Creek Hunter marching again inside the red zone at the 17, second down and six. Jake Ronk up under center. Just a handoff left side. That's Hamblin again down inside the 15 to the 13. Alec Judd on the stop. It'll be third down at about two. Yep. Judd fall off that block that time. and Nice tackle. So third down and two, definitely two down territory for Tim, for Pond Creek Hunter right here early in the second quarter. They would love to get a two-possession lead here. There is Noah Miller tiptoeing inside the five. Did he make the second effort into the end zone? He'll short. be a yard short. Yep. But a great run by Noah, Boy, gain of 14. Yeah, he reached out there and tried to get the ball over, but I think his knee hit right before he got – Across the goal line. Devin Kent saved the touchdown. It's first down and goal at the one. Wasn't for lack of effort. Nope. So first and goal from the one. And before the play gets underway. Boy, I tell you what, we have not seen many flags in this. This may be the first one. Second one. 
So off, offsides, Timberlake. Well, half the distance. It's about <laughs> a uh, it's about a two and a half foot or a, a foot and a half long penalty. <laughs> the nose of the football just shy of the goal line. I think a quarterback stink is what he had called the first time, and it worked. So, well, Jake Ronk has scored five rushing touchdowns this season. Let's see if they give him a chance for number six. Tight eye formation, the tight set. Quarterback sneak, push the pile, and he did not make Oh, yes, he did. Yep. Second effort. And a little uh, – the line judge thought about it for a second. Calls the touchdown. It's a one-yard run for Jake Ronk, his sixth rushing touchdown of the season. And Pond Creek Hunter jumps on top by 10, 18 to 8. They'll go for two. This drive started in Timberlake territory at the 47-yard line. They cap it off with the one-yard run of the quarterback sneak. For two, option pitch near side, and that's Hamblin. Did he get to the end zone? He didn't. So 0 for 3 on two-point conversion runs. And with 9.39 to play in the first half, J.J. Pippen on the stop. It's 18 to 8, the lead for Pond Creek Hunter. We'll take a break. This is the game of the week on Scordle. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. For generations, the FFA has been helping our children through agriculture to grow into responsible adults. We believe in and we support the work being done by our local FFA chapters and all they do to create an enriching experience for our youth. For all you do, you have our thanks. Farm Credit of Enid. Together, we grow. Severin Mulling. Now Pond Creek Hunter after the turnover by Timberlake comes down to score. Eight plays, 47 yards. And a one-yard run by Jake Ronk, the quarterback, makes it 18 to 8, 0 for 3 on two-point conversions. You hope for, if you're a Pond Creek Hunter fan, that doesn't come back to haunt. That kick was touched by J.J. Pippen. and he went back to pick it up, and he's tackled back inside the 15-yard line. Nice defensive play on special teams by Xander Clayton and Timberlake with field goal uh, with the field position back inside their 15. Yeah, that little muff there cost them about. Probably five or ten yards because he went sideways after he picked it up. So the drive will start at the 14-yard line, nine and a half to play in the first half. These two teams have played each other over the years ten times. Timberlake leads the series six to four. But since 1999, when David Kerr took over, the lead for Timberlake is four to three. Those are the matchups between David Kerr and Brian Severin. Yeah, a lot of times there, uh, Pond Creek's been in Class B, <laughs> and Timberlake's been in C most of the time. Devin Kent, a little pitch to him, and he'll won't pick up much. I'll give him a yard to the 15-yard line. Second down and nine. Timberlake needs to get something put together on this drive. They've fallen down by 10. That new quarterback is in there. It is Merrick Judd in the handoff on second and a long nine and nothing doing it all right there. Stop was made by Kellen Claflin. On the carry to Kent. We'll give him a yard to the 21 to bring up second down and eight. So Merrick Judd steps in at quarterback, 5'10", 150-pound freshman. Third down and nine, Judd to throw this time. Now he's in trouble. Near sideline, ball is caught. Did he get a foot down? They're going to say he did. He did. The catch was made by Dylan Schloop. Boy, that was a heck of wow. a catch. Went up in the air, had some contact, and... People on, people on the sideline there, Pond Creek sideline, I don't think they he think they think he got it in, but uh, that was a good catch by Sloop. 
Mason Schaefer on the stop, five-yard completion. And Judd threw that under some stress, too. He did. <laughs> Fourth down and four, and Devin Kent will step back at his 10-yard line to punt this one away. Nobody, nobody back deep for the Panthers, so this one could roll a bit. And it will. It'll take yep. a very nice roll for Timberlake inside the 25-yard line. And down by Alec Judd at the 22. And that is where Pancre Hunter will take over first down and 10. Yeah, Judd had some experience a few weeks ago was because Jenga was out a little for some time with a concussion. So he, he does have some experience at quarterback. So the 10-point lead for the Panthers. First down and 10. This drive will start with just under eight minutes to play on first down, running room left side across the 30 yard line out to the 34. That's Jake Ronk calling his own number that time. He was stopped by Dylan Schloop, also J.J. Pippen. First down run to the 35, a gain of 13. First down and 10 for the Panthers. Hand off this time. Noah Miller turns it up to the 50, to the 45, and down to the 43. Boy, he hits a second or third gear there. Dylan Sloop on the stop. Great acceleration to mark him down to the 42. Yeah, his vision's awful good, too. He falls his blockers, and then when he finds a hole, he's got a second gear there, and he runs north and south really well. He doesn't try to waltz around and go sideways. Ten carries, 131 yards rushing for Noah Miller already in this ball game. First down and ten in Timberlake territory at the 42. Somebody moved. Timberlake saying they were drawn offside, and I think they were. The five-yard penalty will go against Pond Creek Hunter. Move it back to the 47. Take a look. At Pond Creek Hunters history, once they get to the state championship game, they've won three state championships in their history. But, boy, it's been tough luck on them in the state championship game lately. They lost to Tipton back-to-back -back years in 2016 and 2017 in the finals. Lost to Laverne in back-to-back -back years in 2012 and 2013. There's running room up the middle. Noah Miller tackled by Kyle Nashion. <coughs> Down to the 31 yard line. Gain on the play of 12. No, it's actually a gain of uh, gain on the play of 16 after that penalty. Concrete Cutter looking like they're getting it going on offensively right now. Hand off to Hamblin this time. Bounces left and down to the 20-yard line. That'll be another first down, a gain of 11, tackled by Alec Judd. Hamblin gives you a little bit of different look, too. He's got a little bit more bounce to him, a little bit more speed, and, and they complement each other really well. Seven carries, 34 yards rushing for Nick Hamblin now. First down and 10 from the 20-yard line. And you throw in Ronk, he just yep. keeps, keeps you honest, too. you got three guys that can hurt you if you're not careful. Just under halfway through the second quarter. Handoff oh Miller. My. It goes right, then bounces left to the 10 to the 5 and run out of bounds. Great run. <laughs> As there was nothing open to the right side, he bounced it left. He was tackled by Alec and Merrick Judd. Yeah, he wasn't over there anything there to the right, and he just spun out of the tackle and hit the afterburners and got to the sideline and got inside the five. Gain of 18. Well, he had a big game against Timberlake the first time around, 221 yards rushing. He's up over 160 already in this one. First down and goal from the two. Two. 
Hands it off to Miller again into the end zone. Touchdown, Panthers. Two-yard run by Noah Miller. His second rush, actually his third rushing touchdown of the ball game. Now 27 on the year. And PCH on top 24 to 8 before they try to get their first two-point conversion after going 0 for 3 in the first three up the first three touchdowns. Yeah, you got to give a lot of credit, too, for that offensive line. Elson at center and Smith and Claflin at, at guard again. Good job of blowing them defensive, off, defensive guys off the line of scrimmage. For the two-point conversion, the snap to Miller, and he's in this time. They finally get a two-point conversion to go on top 26-8. to eight. We'll take a break, 539 to play in the first half. Panthers on top. This is the game of the week on Scortle, presented by High Plains Insurance. Goltry is proud to support the Timberlake Tigers in tonight's game. Brandon Severin can make your yard or area look great. He can provide many services, mowing, weed eating, edging, leaf and sidewalk blowing, and more. He will service customers throughout the area, Enid, Goltry, Kremlin, and anywhere in between. Call 580-977-9333 or email severinmowing at yahoo.com. Let Brandon Severin make your property look spectacular. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino has what you need to keep your business rolling, whether over the road or on the farm. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales has a current selection of highway and farm trucks to get the job done for you. From sleepers, day cabs, and grain trucks to dump trucks and more. Give Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales a call at 580-776-2245. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino. Quick update on that Tipton Wainoka score. Tipton leads 28 to 20. And coach, I would imagine that if Tipton wins next week, the championship game will be at Weatherford. And if Wainoka wins, we'll be right back here. I think every time Tipton and Pond Creek have played, it's been at Southwestern. Exactly right. Split the difference. The kick taken from the 25-yard line on the return. That's Pippen to the 40 as he was tackled by Xander Clayton. First down and 10 from the 40-yard line. Timberlake needing to put something together to finish a drive this time. As they're falling behind now 26-8. to eight. Drive will start with five and a half to play, first half. So first down and 10 from the 40 yard line near hash. Quarterback is Merrick Judd. He wants to throw, pump fake. The freshman rolls right. Flag on the play now. Flag was thrown. The umpire here on the near side where the play was going toward the far sideline. Noah Miller on the stop. You see a hold in the back side? They yep, did. That's right. I would decline that penalty and take the loss. He's going to take it. <laughs> and very politely, Kellen Claflin picks up the flag and hands it back to the official. So they'll mark it off. It'll be first down and 20. Actually moving back to the 29-yard line. So, so first and actually 21, they've got to get to the 50. Judd right side just throws it into the ground as he was looking for Kent all the way and Kent was covered. John Theophilus had him covered like a blanket. Yep. Defensive secondaries get a good job for Pond Creek. Judd had had a lot of time to throw the ball. Merrick Judd one for two passing for five yards. That completion to Dylan Sloop on that last drive. Second and 21. Judd option pitch right side. Pippen is tripped up behind the line of scrimmage by uh, Fisher Miggy. Yep. He'll lose yardage back to the 27, yeah. losing two. Yeah, Miggy did a good job of forcing him back inside and tripping him up, stopping him for a loss. So third down and about 23. They've got to break the 50-yard line to move the chains. Judd, right side, down the field, intercepted. 
pick going back the other way. 30-yard line of the 25 and stepping out of bounds. I believe it's Noah Miller, isn't it? Nope. Nope, it's Corbin Burnham. Yep, Burnham. Burnham on the pick. Sitting right there, center field. So Burnham with the pick and the return back to the 23-yard line. Second turnover of the night. Well, it sets him in. Set them in good field position, too, about the 23-yard line. Pond Creek Hunter, he can begin to feel the snowball beginning to roll downhill. This drive will start at the 23 and on first down, a big loss. You bet. Good defense. Ronk is sacked for a loss of about 10 or so. He was stopped by Carter Sands. Yeah, and number 50, Kyle Nacion. Ball resting back at the 31 is a loss of eight. Second down and 18. They just needed, Timberlake just needed something to get Ponkery Hunter off schedule. And they did with that play right there. Ronk on a little counter this time. Hands off inside the 25 yard line down to the 23. The carry by Miller. Sloop or a flip pippin on the stop. Second down, actually third down and 11. You might get him off schedule, but uh, Noah could go. He can reel off that and real quick at 20 or 30 yards. He picked up nine on that last one. Third down and 11. I'll give it to him again. Yep. Bouncing left to the 20-yard line. Down to the 15. He'll be a couple of yards short of the first down, but they'll go for it on fourth yep. down. Braxton Buller on the stop. Yep. Locks about two yards. Gain down to the 15 yard line. Picks up nine. Hundred and eighty five yards rushing on fifteen carries for Noah Miller in this one so far. It's fourth down and two from the fifteen. Under three minutes to play in the first half. Pond Creek Hunter on top, 26 to eight, and looking to add to it. Tight eye set. Timeout. And a timeout called by David Kerr and Pond Creek Hunter. We'll take it with him. 2:41 to play in the first half, 26 to eight, PCH, and you're watching the game of the week on Scordle, presented by High Plains Insurance. Whether it's football or banking, talent, effort, and teamwork are essential elements in winning the game. At the First State Bank of Pond Creek, they've been providing consumer, commercial, and agricultural banking services since 1893. With a full-service banking facility in the Heritage Hill Shopping Center in Enid and their main branch in Pond Creek, you'll never have to drive far for that personal banking touch. Find them on the web at fsbpondcreek.com. The First State Bank in Pond Creek backs the Panthers in tonight's game. Member FDIC. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordle.com right now for more information. Tom Nelson and Coach Randy Turney from Ranger Field on the campus of Northwest Oklahoma State University in Alva. And with 2.41 to play in the first half, it is fourth down and two for Pond Creek Hunter at the Timberlake 15-yard line. And the Panthers already on top, 26 to eight. A couple of turnovers for Timberlake has not helped their cause at all. The first one led to a touchdown off the short field. And this one, and the Pond Creek Hunter can convert <coughs> here. They might capitalize on a touchdown as well. There's the snap to Miller, left side to the 10, first down to the eight. That's a formation they get a lot in, the Wildcat formation, just snap it back to Miller and uh, let him try to get the yardage, especially they run that a lot of times on the extra points. Well, Merrick Judd with the stop. It's first and goal at the eight-yard line. Getting Wildcat like that, and you get an extra blocker out in front of you. Got to say hello to uh, Jake Ronk. Has some relatives in, I believe, Tennessee, I think, who are watching tonight. Would love to be here, but they're getting a chance to watch the ball game on score. It'll hand off up the middle, down to the one-yard line. Nick Evans Hamblin. Yep, give it to the change of pace back. Nick Hamblin, stopped by Braxton Buller. Gain of seven. 
Second and goal at the one yard line for Hamlin as they carry the ball game up over 40 yards. Have they made, thrown a pass yet? What's that? Have they thrown a pass yet? No, Jake is <laughs> one for two passes. Okay. For five yards, the catch made by Theophilus. That's right. Remember that now. Second down and goal from the one. Ronk on the quarterback sneak. Pushed, pushed, pushed. And finally, touchdown. PCH is Jake Ronk with his second one-yard run on the quarterback sneak tonight for the touchdown. You run quarterback sneak, you got Muller behind you pushing you. You ought to get a yard. 127 to play in the first half. A little more distance between the Panthers and the Tigers now in this cat fight. It's 32 to 8. They'll go for two. So Jake Ronk, a couple of touchdown runs tonight. He now has seven on the season. <coughs> Miller with the snap around the right side and inside the pylon for two. That'll make it 34 to 8. We'll take a break. 127 to play in the first half. And you're watching the game of the week on Scordal. It was weeks before Christmas when Jansen GMC started preparing themselves for the crowd they would see. Out on the lot, there arose such a clatter of salesmen and inventory and a great deal that mattered. For Acadias and Sierras, pre-owned and new, Yukon's Denali's and other vehicles too. Shop on the web or come see us on site at Janssen GMC. We'll treat you just right. Happy Holidays! Janssen GMC. Drive a little, save a lot. Alfalfa Electric Cooperative in Cherokee, Oklahoma is proud to be member owned. We have been providing affordable and dependable service to communities in Oklahoma and Kansas since 1937. Ask about our Smart Hub app where you can pay your bills, report outages, and check usage. At Alfalfa Electric Cooperative, we strive every day to be the best we can be, and we encourage all our local athletes to do the same. Go Chiefs! Pond Creek Hunter capitalized on the interception and the run back to the 23-yard line by Corbin Burnham. They score in six plays, cover 27 yards. Jake Ronk with the one-yard run for the touchdown. Noah Miller with a two-point conversion run. Now back-to-back -back two-point conversion runs for PCH after they started off over three. And they lead 34-8. to eight. Here's the kick. Taken at the five on the return. The 15-yard line near sideline. That is Alec Judd on the return. A late flag as he gets across the 20. That might be a face mask. Stopped by Nick Hamblin. Let's see what the flag is. Base mass. Yep. More yards. Timberlake. Pond Creek Hunter, you really feel if they get past this one, looking pretty good right now, although I shouldn't say that. Last week, my ball game, it was 26 to nothing at halftime. <laughs> the home team, Stroud, thinking they're going to move on, and Paul Huska scored 34 unanswered in the second half to win. Here it's 34 to 8. Similar situation. If PCH can win, you've got to feel like next week Tipton's not as good as they've been in the past. There is a carry by Devin Kent. Nothing doing. He was stopped by Xavier Smith and a host of Panthers. Miller was one of them and defensive end. The 40. Say a loss of a well, loss of one on the play. And then Xavier Smith and Noah Miller on the stop. Timberlake will burn a timeout. 41 seconds remaining in the first half. Let's take it with them. 34 to 8, Pond Creek Hunter. You're watching the game of the week on Scordal. Wilson Funeral Home is a proud sponsor of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers football team. Since 1929, Wilson Funeral Home's professional and caring staff has helped to ease families' burdens during difficult time of loss. For assistance in the preparation of a personal memorial service for your loved one, contact Wilson Funeral Home in Pond Creek at 580-532-4222. Everyone at Wilson Funeral Home wishes the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and their supporters good luck. 
Let Butch and Arnie at BA Tire and Automotive in Pond Creek help with your automotive repair needs. We use up-to-date diagnostic equipment to identify and fix your car's problem. We're located at 510 West Aspen in Pond Creek. Give us a call at 580-532-6233 or check us out on Facebook at BA Tire and Automotive LLC. Our regular hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We look forward to seeing you soon. Forty-one seconds remaining in the first half. Timberlake with second down and eleven. Line of scrimmage is the twenty-seven yard line. Snap it to Kent. Right side to the thirty. He'll pick up three. Chased down by Noah Miller. Clonk will roll with a half a minute to play. Got viewers all over the place, including down in the Oklahoma City area. Sabrina Diffie, a former T Timberlake Tiger, good basketball player. She's watching tonight. She let me know earlier, hey, how can I watch this game? And I said, go to Scordle. She downloaded on her phone, and she's watching on her phone like everybody should be. Pitch to the near side, trying to find some running room to the near sideline. And that carry by Carter Sands. That's a good run, yeah. good hard run. Sands out to the 38-yard line, tackled by Corbin Burnham. Gain on the play of eight, and that'll be the final play of the first half. Timberlake with that touchdown to grab the lead in the first quarter, but Pond Creek Hunter answered and answered and answered. 34-8 to the score at the half. The Panthers on top of the Tigers, and we'll begin our halftime show after this. This is the game of the week on Scordle. Nathan Crow at Farmers Insurance is Grant County's hometown insurance agent. For auto, home, renters, business, life insurance, and more, Nathan is a local caring agent who will personally meet with you and find the policies that best suit you. At Farmers, they love discounts. Teachers, librarians, doctors, RNs, law enforcement, firefighter, military, and others. No insurance company offers more. Call Nathan Crow at 580-395-3333 or stop by his office at 102 East Cherokee in Medford. Planning an auction? Look no further than JKJ Real Estate and Auction Company to sell your real estate, farm machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Contact Keith James and Enid, Lon Sturgeon and Mino, Doug Walker and Crescent, Chad Reb and Helena, or LD Rapp and Wakita. Let their hardworking and experienced staff conduct a successful auction for you. Since 1968, JKJ Auction and Real Estate has been helping you say, sold, at 1301 East Willow in Enid, 580-233-9800 and jkjauction.com. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics, it's good. Pros with Scordal Live. Find out more at scordal.com slash stream. Don't let the name fool you. Greasy Steve can cook. Greasy Steve's Food Prep Company is Pond Creek's tastiest dining experience. Let Greasy Steve do the cooking. He does it all. Steaks, chicken, shrimp, catfish, burgers, and salads. Don't miss Wednesday night shrimp, chicken fried steak on Thursday, all-you-can-eat catfish on Friday night, and aged ribeyes on Friday and Saturday night. Stop in and say hi to Greasy Steve on the curve on the west side of Pond Creek. Just be nice, because it ain't easy being greasy. Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek is a fan of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and is a proud supporter of all the Grant County student-athletes. Call Chad at 580-747-9367 for all your plumbing needs. Whether residential, commercial, new construction, remodeling, or repairs, he has the solution for your plumbing situation. Full professional services and upfront pricing. Grant County's answer to your plumbing issues is Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek. 580-747-9367. 
1-800-926-7867. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. For generations, the FFA has been helping our children through agriculture to grow into responsible adults. We believe in and we support the work being done by our local FFA chapters and all they do to create an enriching experience for our youth. For all you do, you have our thanks. Farm Credit of Enid. Together, we grow. Severin Mulling in Goultry is proud to support the Timberlake Tigers in tonight's game. Brandon Severin can make your yard or area look great. He can provide many services, mowing, weed eating, edging, leaf and sidewalk blowing, and more. He will service customers throughout the area, Enid, Goultry, Kremlin, and anywhere in between. Call 580-977-9333 or email severinmowing at yahoo.com. Let Brandon Severin make your property look spectacular. Halftime here at Ranger Field in Alva, and a big lead for the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers. They lead the Timberlake Tigers 34-8 halfway through this one. Let's go back and recap the first half. Timberlake took the opening kickoff and went a quick three and out to give the ball to Pond Creek Hunter for their opening drive. Started at their own 40-yard line. Went 60 yards in five plays in two minutes and 17 seconds. Noah Miller with the 17-yard run on third down and six. Two-point conversion run no good. 8.49 to play in the first quarter. And Pond Creek Hunters on top, 6 to nothing. Timberlake, uh, after, uh, gets the, starts the drive at the Pond Creek Hunter 38-yard line after a nice return, but they go forward on fourth down and can't make it. They turn the ball over to Pond Creek Hunter, who takes over at the 40-yard line. Pond Creek Hunter goes three and out, has to punt it back which sets up Timberlake for their, op their score in the first half. From their own 35-yard line, they go 65 yards in nine plays, two minutes and 39 seconds, and it was an eight-yard touchdown pass from Ethan Jenlink to Alec Judd. Two-point conversion pass from Jenlink to Merrick Judd made it 8-6. to six. Timberlake on top with 3.56 to play in the first quarter. But a quick answer for Pond Creek Hunter. On the ensuing kickoff, they start the drive at the 35-yard line. They go 65 yards in four plays in two minutes and six seconds. Noah Miller with a 56-yard touchdown run. Once again, they come up empty on the two-point conversion run, and that makes the score 12-8 uh, to eight at that point. Timberlake, on the ensuing possession, turns the ball over on a fumble. Sets up Pond Creek Hunter at the Timberlake 47 to start the drive, and they score in eight plays. Jake Ronk scores from one yard out with 9.39 to play in the second quarter. Once again, the two-point conversion run no good. It's 18-8 to eight PCH with a little over nine and a half to play in the first half. Timberlake with a three and out. Pond Creek Hunter, after a nice roll in the punt, takes over at the 22-yard line. But they go 78 yards in five plays in two minutes and 20 seconds. Noah Miller caps it off with a two-yard touchdown run, his third rushing touchdown of the ball game so far. And they get the two-point conversion run by Noah. That makes it 26-8 to eight with 5.39 to play in the second quarter. Timberlake gets the ball back. Ethan Jenlink was injured and was out. And we hear now that it's a collarbone injury. And they bring in... Uh, Merrick Judd, the backup quarterback, the freshman, he throws an interception, which Corbin Burnham returns back to the 23-yard line, setting up the short field. Six plays, 23 yards. Jake Ronk, the quarterback, scores from one yard out. Noah Miller with a two-point conversion run with 127 to play in the first half. Pond Creek Hunter on top, 34-8. to eight. And that's how we stand halfway through this one. Halftime at Ranger Field at Northwest Oklahoma State University. And PCH on top of Timberlake, 34 to 8. We'll take a break and be right back. You're watching the Scordal High School Football Game of the Week, presented by High Plains Insurance. Severin Mulling in Goultry is proud to support the Timberlake Tigers in tonight's game. Brandon Severin can make your yard or area look great. He can provide many services: mowing, weed eating, edging, leaf and sidewalk blowing, and more. 
He will service customers throughout the area, Enid, Goltry, Kremlin, and anywhere in between. Call 580-977-9333 or email severinmowing at yahoo.com. Let Brandon Severin make your property look spectacular. Sturgeon's tractor and truck sales in Mino has what you need to keep your business rolling, whether over the road or on the farm. Sturgeon's tractor and truck sales has a current selection of highway and farm trucks to get the job done for you. From sleepers, day cabs, and grain trucks to dump trucks and more. Give Sturgeon's tractor and truck sales a call at 580-776-2245. Sturgeon's tractor and truck sales in Mino. Whether it's football or banking, talent, effort, and teamwork are essential elements in winning the game. At the First State Bank of Pond Creek, they've been providing consumer, commercial, and agricultural banking services since 1893. With a full-service banking facility in the Heritage Hill Shopping Center in Enid and their main branch in Pond Creek, you'll never have to drive far for that personal banking touch. Find them on the web at fsbpondcreek.com. The First State Bank in Pond Creek backs the Panthers in tonight's game. Member FDIC. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. It was weeks before Christmas when Janssen GMC started preparing themselves for the crowd they would see. Out on the lot, there arose such a clatter of salesmen and inventory and a great deal that mattered. For Acadias and Sierras, pre-owned and new, Yukon's Denali's and other vehicles too. Shop on the web or come see us on site at Janssen GMC. We'll treat you just right. Happy Holidays! Janssen GMC. Drive a little to save a lot. Alfalfa Electric Cooperative in Cherokee, Oklahoma is proud to be member owned. We have been providing affordable and dependable service to communities in Oklahoma and Kansas since 1937. Ask about our Smart Hub app where you can pay your bills, report outages, and check usage. At Alfalfa Electric Cooperative, we strive every day to be the best we can be, and we encourage all our local athletes to do the same. Go Chiefs! Wilson Funeral Home is a proud sponsor of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers football team. Since 1929, Wilson Funeral Home's professional and caring staff has helped to ease families' burdens during difficult time of loss. For assistance in the preparation of a personal memorial service for your loved one, contact Wilson Funeral Home in Pond Creek at 580-532-4222. Everyone at Wilson Funeral Home wishes the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and their supporters good luck. Let Butch and Arnie at BA Tire and Automotive in Pond Creek help with your automotive repair needs. We use up-to-date diagnostic equipment to identify and fix your car's problem. We're located at 510 West Aspen in Pond Creek. Give us a call at 580-532-6233 or check us out on Facebook at BA Tire and Automotive LLC. Our regular hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We look forward to seeing you soon. Well, after Timberlake took an 8-6 to six lead, Pond Creek Hunter has rolled off 28 straight points to take a 34-8 to eight lead halfway through this one. And let's take a look at the halftime stats. First of all, for Timberlake, 15 rushes for 46 yards. And leading the way, Devin Kent, 8 carries for 12 yards. Actually, Ethan Gentling, before he got hurt, had 2 carries for 27 to lead the way. Devin Kent, 8 for 12. J.J. Pippen. Three for minus three. Carter Sands, one for eight yards. That carry at the end of the first half. And through the air, three for nine passing between Ethan Jenlink and Merrick Judd. Three for nine for 25 yards with the interception thrown by Judd. So 24 offensive plays, 71 total yards for Timberlake in the first half. Alec Judd caught the eight-yard touchdown pass from Ethan Jenlink in the first half. Uh, Devin Kent, a catch for 12 yards. Dylan Schloop, a catch for five yards in the first half. For Pond Creek Hunter, 32 rushes in the first half for 271 yards. 16 for 192 in the first half for Noah Miller. 8 for 41 for Nick Hamblin. And 6 for 38 for Jake Ronk. Through the air, Ronk is 1 of 2 for 5 yards. That completion to John Theophilus. So 34 offensive plays for 276 total yards in the first half for the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers as they are looking for their 13th win of the season against no losses 
and they lead at the half 34 to 8. We'll take a break. Your halftime show continues from Ranger Field at Northwest Oklahoma State University. This is the game of the week on Scordle. Nathan Crow at Farmers Insurance is Grant County's hometown insurance agent. For auto, home, renters, business, life insurance, and more, Nathan is a local caring agent who will personally meet with you and find the policies that best suit you. At Farmers, they love discounts. Teachers, librarians, doctors, RNs, law enforcement, firefighter, military, and others. No insurance company offers more. Call Nathan Crow at 580-395-3333 or stop by his office at 102 East Cherokee in Medford. Planning an auction? Look no further than JKJ Real Estate and Auction Company to sell your real estate, farm machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Contact Keith James and Enid, Lon Sturgeon and Mino, Doug Walker and Crescent, Chad Reb and Helena, or LD Rapp and Wakita. Let their hardworking and experienced staff conduct a successful auction for you. Since 1968, JKJ Auction and Real Estate has been helping you say, sold, at 1301 East Willow in Enid, 580-233-9800 and jkjauction.com. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics, it's good. Pros with Scordal Live. Find out more at scordal.com slash stream. Don't let the name fool you. Greasy Steve can cook. Greasy Steve's Food Prep Company is Pond Creek's tastiest dining experience. Let Greasy Steve do the cooking. He does it all. Steaks, chicken, shrimp, catfish, burgers, and salads. Don't miss Wednesday night shrimp, chicken fried steak on Thursday, all-you-can-eat catfish on Friday night, and aged ribeyes on Friday and Saturday night. Stop in and say hi to Greasy Steve on the curve on the west side of Pond Creek. Just be nice, because it ain't easy being greasy. Welcome back to Alva Ranger Field. Pond Creek Hunter on top of Timberlake 34-8. A lot of high school football action going on tonight. And I, it was great to see all the pictures on Facebook uh, yesterday of Thanksgiving practice because if you're practicing on Thanksgiving, it means you're playing for something big tonight and some big ball games tonight, Randy Turney. You bet. That's a, that's a good sign that, that you have to work around Thanksgiving. So uh, a lot of schools uh, enjoying that blood break. What do you got for scores, Coach? We'll start out with Class C uh, this matchup. Tonight is going to match up with Tipton Winoka. It's halftime. Also there at Southwestern, Tipton leading 34 to 26. In Class B, the quarterfinals, uh, the number one team, Shattuck, leading Durer 36 to 8. Uh, one final already, uh, the Davenport uh, traveled to Pioneer tonight, and it ended at halftime. Davenport 54 and Pioneer 0. Uh, Cherokee traveled to Canadian. It's not halftime yet, but Cherokee has a lead, uh, leaving Canadian 26 to 8. No score on Alec and Regent Prep tonight. In Class A, also in the quarterfinals, the number one team, Cash and Wildcats, on top of uh, Barnsdall, 20 to nothing at halftime. Uh, the number three team, uh, Pawnee, uh, on top of Mangum, 36 to nothing. It looks like Cashin and Pawnee, number one and number three team, will probably meet in the semifinals. Uh, number four team of Joyce Christian on top of Thomas, 21 to seven, and Ringling and Pahuska in a defensive game tonight at Pahuska. Ringling leading seven to six in Class A in the quarterfinals. Uh, Beggs, a number seven team, on top of Lindsay. 21 to nothing. Uh, Metro Christian, the number one team in 2A on top of Washington, 14 to seven. Uh, Bayan leading eight air, seven to nothing early in the game. And Sperry on top of Kingston, seven to nothing. That was early also in the game. In 
Class 3A semifinals. Uh, it's kind of a surprise at number two, Lincoln Christian on top of Heritage Hall, 20 to nothing at halftime. And the number 17, Plainview, having no trouble with Burgess on top of them, 35 to nothing. In 4A, a game that's played this afternoon, uh, upset uh, the Weatherford, Weatherford Eagles, defeated Tuttle tonight, or this afternoon, 16 to 7. We have no score on the game tonight between number three, Poto, and number five, Wagner. In 5A this afternoon, Bishop, Bishop McGinnis on top uh, defeated Bishop Kelly 47-22. So they will meet the winner tonight between Carl Albert and Piedmont. And at halftime, Carl Albert was leading Piedmont 17 to nothing. Lots of scores across the state. Turn this one up. There we go. Lots of scores across the state. I had a feeling that Carl Albert getting Piedmont a second time around might not look past him, and they're up big in that ball game right now. And uh, in this ball game, a similar situation. Timberlake gave Pond Creek Hunter all they wanted back in late September, losing by a touchdown. You wonder Pond Creek Hunter might have just, uh, you know, maybe looked a little past him, and Timberlake came out and played well. But tonight. Pond Creek Hunter very focused, leading 34 to 8. Let's take a break. Our halftime show coming to an end. Third quarter is coming up. You're watching the game of the week on Scordle. Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek is a fan of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and is a proud supporter of all the Grant County student athletes. Call Chad at 580-747-9367 for all your plumbing needs. Whether residential, commercial, new construction, remodeling, or repairs, he has the solution for your plumbing situation. Full professional services and upfront pricing. Grant County's answer to your plumbing issues is Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek. 580-747-9367. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. For generations, the FFA has been helping our children through agriculture to grow into responsible adults. We believe in and we support the work being done by our local FFA chapters and all they do to create an enriching experience for our youth. For all you do, you have our thanks. Farm Credit of Enid. Together, we grow. Severin Mulling in Goultry is proud to support the Timberlake Tigers in tonight's game. Brandon Severin can make your yard or area look great. He can provide many services, mowing, weed eating, edging, leaf and sidewalk blowing, and more. He will service customers throughout the area, Enid, Goultry, Kremlin, and anywhere in between. Call 580-977-9333 or email severinmowing at yahoo.com. Let Brandon Severin make your property look spectacular. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino has what you need to keep your business rolling, whether over the road or on the farm. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales has a current selection of highway and farm trucks to get the job done for you. From sleepers, day cabs, and grain trucks to dump trucks and more. Give Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales a call at 580-776-2245. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino. Whether it's football or banking, talent, effort, and teamwork are essential elements in winning the game. At the First State Bank of Pond Creek, they've been providing consumer, commercial, and agricultural banking services since 1893. With a full-service banking facility in the Heritage Hill Shopping Center in Enid and their main branch in Pond Creek, you'll never have to drive far for that personal banking touch. Find them on the web at fsbpondcreek.com. The First State Bank in Pond Creek backs the Panthers in tonight's game. Member FDIC. We are just about ready for the second half here in Alva tonight. Pond Creek Hunter on top of Timberlake, 34 to 8. Tom Nelson, Randy Turney with you. And, Coach, we can't – I tell you what, I have so much respect for both of these programs, both of these schools. I made the comment on Facebook today that these are probably the two schools that I've actually broadcast games for the most over the past 
15 years or so, according, you know, going back to my radio days, you get so familiar, and of course, uh, the, the names, uh, the first names change, but the second, uh, the last name seemed to stay the same year after year, but Coach Brian Severn at Timberlake and, and David Kerr at Pond Creek Hunter, they, they just know how to get it done, always have great kids, and always very uh, well-disciplined teams as well. And the thing about it is, if you look at their other programs like basketball, you've done a ton of them, too, because, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Pond Creek and Timberlake have played, you know, in the state tournament and the area tournament, and you, you get real familiar with uh, the coaches and the players and the parents, and it's uh, it's, and it's exciting to call a game and know the – people that that are playing now well, Devin Kent will kick it away Pond Creek Hunter will get the football to start the third quarter reminds one of you and I's first broadcasts ever as a tackle made by Carter Sands what well, early on in our broadcasting uh, uh, team it up back in 2010 that area championship game out in uh, Woodward between Timberlake and Forgan that uh, Timberlake beat Forgan upset him to go to state that's one of those games that sticks in my mind, Coach Brent Rousey. Yep. That was so, a that was definitely an upset. <laughs> no doubt about it. So Pond Creek Hunter will take over first down and 10, 35-yard line is where they will start this drive and won't get much on first down. Matter of fact, they're going to lose yardage. Back to the 31, a loss of four as Jake Ronk is taken down by Dylan Schloop. So a loss of four. Will bring up second down and 14, and that tells you Timberlake is not going to quit playing. Well, hey, last week, just remember the ball game in Stroud. Stroud led 26 to nothing at the half, which is what we are at right now. This is a 26 point game. And of course, Paul Husker scored 34 straight to pull out the win. Trying to find some running room right side, not much there for Noah Miller. Stop made by Devin Kent. It's always interesting, too, after you come out from halftime, the adjustments that both teams make on both sides of the ball. Gain of one. Noah Miller just under 200 yards rushing in this one. He had 221 against Timberlake back in September. Third down and 13 as the Tigers looking to get an early stop here. Empty the backfield, Ronk to throw. Third time tonight. Now he's flushed. He wants to run, directing traffic. And he'll step out of bounds to the 40-yard line, which will be five yards short of the first down, run out of bounds by Alec Judd. Actually, they're going to mark it to the 41. So it'll be fourth down and four, the gain of nine. Of course, Ethan Genlink, the quarterback for Timberlake, injured in the first half, a collarbone injury, so we will not see him the rest of the night. It is fourth down and four. It looks like... PCH will punt it away. Aaron Kerr will stand back at his 29-yard line, and Devin Kent will stand at his 20. So a three and out. Timberlake gets the stop they need, and the punt was blocked. It's blocked. It was blocked, and that's, now a flag. That's and not a flag if you, if you tip the ball. Well, it was blocked, and Braxton Buller was the man who came in and blocked it. And you're exactly right. That's a blocked punt. And he definitely got his hands on it because it went yes. straight up in there and fluttered, and they're going to talk and talk to each other, but that should be no flag. Which would give Timberlake good field position. There we go. Yep, it was deflected. It was blocked. Wave the flag off. And Timberlake will take over. Boy, got good pressure that time. Yes, he did. Laid out that time and got his fingers on it. So Timberlake will start the drive in Pond Creek Hunter territory at the 47-yard line. That's one of those, now you want to do it over and say, let's go for it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. We didn't get much out of that. You know, last week down at Stroud, I said Paul Huska needed to do something on their – first drive they did they scored a touchdown needed to get a stop they did Timberlake gets a a quick stop and gets the ball back pass was caught Xander Clayton with the stop Alec Judd with the reception gain of three the pass completion look 
That's Kent at quarterback. That's what I thought. Yeah, Devin, I'm, that was Kent completing that pass. I, I'm sitting there looking. It looked like 28, and then, yeah, he's playing quarterback right now. So the gain of three on the pass. Whoa. And now ball is loose, and Pond Creek Hunter yeah, will yeah. jump on it. Third turnover of the night for Timberlake. It's a big one. Noah Miller fell on it. Couldn't see who hit him, but somebody hit him just as he got ready to pitch and caused the funnel. Well, so Pond Creek Hunter will take over first down and 10. They will start this drive at the Timberlake 42. Timberlake had that opportunity, could not capitalize on it to give the ball right back on the third turnover of the night by the Tigers. Ronk on first down. We'll hand off to Miller. Bus free. 25-20 for the 15 and pushed out of bounds by Merrick Judd. They'll mark him out of bounds for the 12. A gain on the play of 30. Yeah, they're, they're bunched in there trying to stop the run. And if you bounce that outside and don't have containment, it's a lot of green get grass. Or I should say green turf. Green turf. So first down and 10 at the 12-yard line. Give it off to Miller again down to the 7 as he'll gain 5. He stopped that time by stopped it by J.J. Pippett. Gain of 5 down to the 7-yard line. Second down and a long five. Ronk up under center. The two back set. And he'll call his own number this time. And he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And that is just about it. J.J. Pippen, another big stop. Be third down and five. Getting some good penetration that time from their linebackers. Eight forty-five to play in the third quarter. 34 to 8. Pond Creek Hunter on top. And they are inside the 10 yard line, but here's a big third and five play. Shotgun for Miller. Yep, empty the backfield. It is Miller. And he wants to run around the right side of the five. Cuts toward the end zone. Touchdown. Four rushing touchdowns tonight for Noah Miller. He scores that one from seven yards out. Huge night for Noah. Get him in the wildcat, and you flood out and wrong that time. He got, got the ham done, and he got another blocker. Extra blocker. It, it's unfair. So that'll make it 40 to 8. They'll go for two. Two hundred and thirty-five yards rushing. And four rushing touchdowns for Noah Miller tonight. Wrong to throw. Left flat to Hamblin. Hamblin makes a nice catch, but he cannot step out of the tackle yeah. as he'll be tackled by J.J. Pippen. 40 to 8 the score, 8.18 to play in the third quarter. This is the game of the week on Scordle. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at scordle.com right now for more information. It was weeks before Christmas when Jansen GMC started preparing themselves for the crowd they would see. Out on the lot, there arose such a clatter of salesmen and inventory and the great deals that matter. For Acadias and Sierras, pre-owned and new, Yukon Denali's and other vehicles too. Shop on the web or come see us on site at Jansen GMC. We'll treat you just right. Happy Holidays! Jansen. 
kick will roll. It'll hit the <laughs> pylon, which means it's part of the end zone, so it'll give it to the 20-yard line. <laughs> it'll be a touchback. Pond Creek Hunter scored quickly, a four-play, 42-yard drive after the fumble. In a minute 30, Noah Miller had a big 30-yard run, but he scored in a seven-yard run. Two-point conversion pass was no good. 8-18 to play in the third quarter, now 40-8. to So Timberlake will take over. Let's see who's quarterback in this time. It was after Ethan Genlink got hurt, Merrick Judd, Merrick Judd came in, and now we've got Kent. Kent's in there again. First down and 10 up under center this time. Pitch left side, trying to get to the edge is Carter Sands, and he won't get much as nope. he's pushed back. Give him a yard to the 21, and that is it. Number 10, Noah Miller. Right. Big Noah Miller. Call his name a lot. Both sides of the ball. He's having he's having a nice game. His senior year does not want to see it in tonight. Yeah, if you're going to run the if you want to run the football, you better block the linebacker. That's <laughs> number 10. So second down and nine. Carter Sands, his second run of the ball game. That's two carries for nine yards. This time it'll run. <laughs> it's a run off the boot left side by Kent, and then There's Kent was th yeah, he was he was out of bounds yeah. and he was thrown down. That's yeah. a good play, yeah. good penalty or yeah. a good uh, call by the official. Yeah, it's going to be 15 and then Noah yards. Miller. He got out of bounds and then he's kind of got a late toss down yeah. hard. Well, he was bootleg and left, and Merrick Judd was out there, but Kent said, "Okay, I'm going to just keep it." And he'll get the yardage needed for the first down and then some. Kind of surprised him that there wasn't anybody there after he faked, faked that pitch. He gained 12 on the run and tack on 15. Yep. Out to the 47-yard line. Winner moves on to play for the Class C State Championship next week against the winner of the Waynoka tipton game, which has been a good one. Down at Swazoo, around the near side comes Kent, and he's strung out of bounds. Chased out of bounds, Miggy in there on the mix. That's Fisher Miggy. Yep. Gain of two. Number seven, Clayton also there. Ran about 20 yards and picked up about one. Ten carries, 26 yards rushing for Kent tonight. Clock stopped as he went out of bounds. First down, a second down and eight, just shy of the midfield stripe at the 48-yard line. And somebody moved right side. That's Braxton Buller, right guard, who moved. Move him back five to the 44. We'll have a game somewhere next week, I would imagine. We'll have a semifinal game in one of the larger classes. Due to restrictions, we cannot broadcast state championship games. Those will be on somewhere else. Second down and 14. The 44-yard line. Kent to throw off his back foot incomplete. Tried to find Merrick Judd coming back to the ball. Left it way short, yep. incomplete. Yep. Two guys right in his face. He said, get rid of it. Throw it away. One of those ball games when you lose your quarterback and he means so much to you, and Pond Creek Hunter knows all about that in a state championship yep. game. And you know, when it happens, uh, and you don't only have about 16 or 17 players. you got to yep. shuffle other kids around. And, and that's just it exactly and, right. You yeah. can put somebody at quarterback, yep. but it takes away from another position, which is what it's doing right here. Exactly. So Kent from the gun this time. Before the play gets underway, timeout, timeout called by Timberlake. We'll take it with him. 6.47 to play in the third quarter. 40-8, to eight, Pond Creek Hunter. You're watching the Game of the Week on Scorto, presented by High Plains Insurance. 
Alfalfa Electric Cooperative in Cherokee, Oklahoma is proud to be member owned. We have been providing affordable and dependable service to communities in Oklahoma and Kansas since 1937. Ask about our Smart Hub app where you can pay your bills, report outages, and check usage. At Alfalfa Electric Cooperative, we strive every day to be the best we can be, and we encourage all our local athletes to do the same. Go Chiefs! Wilson Funeral Home is a proud sponsor of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers football team. Since 1929, Wilson Funeral Home's professional and caring staff has helped to ease families' burdens during difficult time of loss. For assistance in the preparation of a personal memorial service for your loved one, contact Wilson Funeral Home in Pond Creek at 580-532-4222. Everyone at Wilson Funeral Home wishes the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and their supporters good luck. Third down at about 14 for Timberlake. Give a big shout out tonight to the Scordal crew who's up in Alva. Our producer engineer is Ethan Sunkin tonight. Trey Robinson on camera. John Cope is our spotter tonight. Adam Dieselhorst is out there making friends. Third down and 14. Back to throw. Near side, ball is, oh, oh, it was dropped. Tell you what, good throw by Kent into the hands of Merrick Judd, and he dropped it. Corbin Burnham on the coverage. That would have been a big gain right there. Cold night, wet night, hands get a little dicey. That's what happened right there, I would imagine. Notice Corey Rogers getting the night off tonight, but he is watching and helping out from afar tonight. <laughs> He'll punt away. Devin Kent blocked. Still loose, still loose, still loose and covered by PCH. They'll have good starting field position at the 41-yard line. I think they'll mark about the 40 or a little shy of it. The block was covered by John Theophilus. The block was the left end. I couldn't tell the number, but can't read those numbers. <laughs> black on black. So first down and 10. The drive will start at the 40-yard line with 6.23 to play. Yeah. Not a whole lot there on first down. J.G. Pippen on the stop. And Ronk with the run. Second down and 10. Called his name a lot tonight, J.J. J. Pippen. 5'11", 160-pound sophomore is having a great That's good right. night. And good he is night. back next year and the year after that. Yeah, got the quarterback to be back yep. too. Jen likes a sophomore. Both teams have quite a few seniors, but there is some, be some good talent coming back. Second down and 10 from the 40-yard line. Wrong to throw this time. Pass is incomplete out on the right flat. Tried to find Noah Miller in space and give him some running room. It'll be third down and 10. Clonk is stopped with five minutes and 40 seconds to play. Third quarter. Pond Creek Hunter looking to get back to the state championship game. For the first time since 2017, they missed it last year. Got beat by Tipton in the semifinals. Back to throw is Ronk. Right side ball caught. There's Miller. Miller pushes the defender forward as he got by Kent. He was tackled by Devin Kent. They'll say he stepped out of bounds a couple of yards short of the 32, gaining eight. That's a good throw that time by Ronk. Noah Miller's first catch of the evening. So fourth down and two. Think about being up 40 to eight and you're the play caller. You can't call a bad play. <laughs> Got to be feeling pretty good about this point. Mm -hmm. I formation, the tight set. And I don't think he got it. He's going to be shy of the first down. Noah Miller comes up a half a yard short. Merrick Judd with a big stop, and Timberlake will take over. Yep, it's short. About a half yard. 
Well, T. Lake gets the stop. They'll take over at the 31. 5.14 to play third quarter. Been a struggle, though, offensively for Timberlake now, though. They're just trying to fit some pieces together and move the football. Here in the second half, they've turned it over on a fumble. Had a punt block last time. Handoff up the middle to Sands, and he's pushed back. Only coming right up the middle and making that stop. And you're going up the middle. Yeah. The middle linebacker is <laughs> right. going to greet you. Noah Miller <laughs> says, hello. <laughs> Sands a gain of two to bring up second and eight. You look like he had a little momentum when he crossed the, <laughs> and he went crossed the line, and then he got hit by, by a train. He went backwards. He did make two yards. Second and eight. And it off to him again, and off left guard. Not a whole lot there that time as he was stopped by Theophilus. Yep. No gain to bring up third down and eight. As the clock continues to roll, four minutes and 20 seconds to play in the third quarter. Pond Creek Hunter is just happy to let this one tick, 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 tick down and move on to the state finals. Devin Kinn in the shotgun. He wants to throw. Rolling to his left. Pass is intercepted. I think that's Burnham again. Coming back the other way. Near sideline. Burnham turns it up. 30-yard line to the 25. He'll say he stepped out at about the 26. But Corbin Burnham, his second pick of the night. Put him at the 25-yard line. Another turnover. Burnham, the junior defensive back, a little speed there after he made the interception. So the Panthers take over with 3.46 to play in the third quarter at the 25-yard line of Timberlake. They lead 40-8. to eight. And on first down, Ronk will hand off right side. Going down pretty quickly is Hamblin. Hamblin stopped by Pippen. No gain on the play, brings up second and ten. Timberlake is still fighting defensively. They're making some plays. They're not going down and going out without a fight. They know that if they can't come back, this is the end of their season. They're playing like it. They just can't move the football without your quarterback, without your man who's been, there, been in there most of the season. Ryan Severin just trying to find something. Second down and 11. Hand off left side. There's Noah Miller down to the 21-yard line. Yeah. Miller up over 250 yards now. Stopped by J.J. Pippen. Pippen. Sloop and Buller, about three of them in there, bringing him down. Gain a five on that one. So third down and five at the 20 yard line with two and a half. Give a shout out to David Glover with the OSSAA. He is in the house tonight, he is administrating this event. <laughs> And doing it well. Third down and five. Back to throw is Ronk rolling to his right, directing traffic. Give credit to Timberlake as nobody's open downfield, and Ronk will step out of bounds at about the 17-yard line, stopped by Dylan Schloop. Yeah, that's good coverage that time. A good move there by Ronk just to tuck it and get what he could. So that'll bring up fourth down and two, the ball resting at the 17. Let's go Wildcat with Miller. Time out. We'll see what they talk about. We'll take a break. 2.06 to play in the third quarter. 
It is 40 to 8, the lead for Timberlake, or for Pond Creek Hunter, excuse me. Got those Timberlake fans excited. This is the game of the week on Scordle. Let Butch and Arnie at BA Tire and Automotive in Pond Creek help with your automotive repair needs. We use up to date diagnostic equipment to identify and fix your car's problem. We're located at 510 West Aspen in Pond Creek. Give us a call at 580-532-6233 or check us out on Facebook at BA Tire and Automotive, LLC. Our regular hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We look forward to seeing you soon. Nathan Crow at Farmers Insurance is Grant County's hometown insurance agent. For auto, home, renters, business, life insurance, and more, Nathan is a local caring agent who will personally meet with you and find the policies that best suit you. At Farmers, they love discounts. Teachers, librarians, doctors, RNs, law enforcement, firefighter, military, and others. No insurance company offers more. Call Nathan Crow at 580-395-3333 or stop by his office at 102 East Cherokee in Medford. All right, fourth down and two for Pond Creek Hunter at the Timberlake 17-yard line with 2.06 to play in the third quarter and a 40-8 to lead for the Panthers. The snap to Miller. Miller dives for the first down and gets it down to the 12-yard line. He'll end up picking up about uh, five or so. He was tackled by Merrick Judd, but it will be first and 10 at the 12. As, as Wildcat, yep. single, single back, you got the extra blocker in front. So first down and 10, they can get a first down inside the two. Tipton and Winoka all tied up in the third quarter. How about that? How about the Railroaders? 34-34, got a good ball game in Weatherford. The Railroaders are hanging in, and they're going into the fourth quarter of that one. Got a chance to punch their ticket for the state championship game. Ronk to the five-yard line. Ronk into the end zone. Touchdown. Yep. Misdirection that time. They all went with Miller and. Hamlin led the way into the end zone. Jake Ronk will score from 17 yards out. No, take it back from 12 yards out. It was a 12-yard run. That'll make it 46 to 8. They'll go for two. For Jake Ronk, his third rushing touchdown of the ball game, his eighth of the season. As they are spreading the wealth around tonight. Ronk up under center. Coming left. Pitch near side. Miller. Into the end zone for two. 117 to play in the third quarter. Now 48 to 8 the score. We'll take a break. This is the Scordle Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance. Planning an auction? Look no further than JKJ Real Estate and Auction Company to sell your real estate, farm machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Contact Keith James and Enid, Lon Sturgeon and Mino, Doug Walker and Crescent, Chad Reb and Helena, or LD Rapp and Wakita. Let their hardworking and experienced staff conduct a successful auction for you. Since 1968, JKJ Auction and Real Estate has been helping you say, sold, at 1301 East Willow in Enid, 580-233-9800 and jkjauction.com. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics, it's good. Five plays, 25 yards on the drive, two minutes and 29 seconds, and a 12-yard touchdown run by Jake Ronk. Two-point conversion run by Noah Miller makes it 48-8, late third quarter, 117 to play. And here's a Pond Creek Hunter kick. And chased down back inside the 15 on the return to the 20, to the 25, and out of the 27-yard line by J.J. Pippen. We've got to get the trivia question in. You bet. Third quarter, got to do it, and we've got a good one tonight. If we can, can you fire it up back here for us, Ethan? Give you a second, maybe. We'll do that trivia question when we get a chance. That's not the right one. <laughs> that was last week's answer. Well, I can go ahead and uh, read it to you, I think, somewhere. We'll get, give them a chance to take a look at it real quick. But it's first down and 10. Line of scrimmage is the 28-yard line for Timberlake. And on first down, Kent around the right side. Got a hold out here on the right end. Right 
Mason Schaefer on the stop, but it's going back. So we'll mark it off from the line of scrimmage. Ten yard penalty will be first down and twenty. Back at the eighteen. Pitch far side, trying to get to the edge and turning it up is Sands. Sands will be tackled. They'll give him forward progress for a couple of yards to the 19-yard line. Tackle made by Noah Miller. One-yard gain. John Cope, our spotter tonight. His wife Becky is home watching on Squirtle where she is. I say she's warm. We're very warm. We're not in a bad spot at all. This is a great press box here in Alva. Second down and long. 19-yard line. Final play of the third quarter most likely. Matter of fact, they made us let it play out here. They will. We'll go to the fourth quarter. It's a 40-point lead for Pond Creek Hunter over Timberlake. The score 48-8. to eight. We'll take a break. You are watching the Game of the Week on Scordal, presented by High Plains Insurance. Don't let the name fool you. Greasy Steve can cook. Greasy Steve's Food Prep Company is Pond Creek's tastiest dining experience. Let Greasy Steve do the cooking. He does it all. Steaks, chicken, shrimp, catfish, burgers, and salads. Don't miss Wednesday night shrimp, chicken fried steak on Thursday, all-you-can-eat catfish on Friday night, and aged ribeyes on Friday and Saturday night. Stop in and say hi to Greasy Steve on the curve on the west side of Pond Creek. Just be nice because it ain't easy being greasy. Severin Mulling in Goltry is proud to support the Timberlake Tigers in tonight's game. Brandon Severin can make your yard or area look great. He can provide many services, mowing, weed eating, edging, leaf and sidewalk blowing, and more. He will service customers throughout the area, Enid, Goltry, Kremlin, and anywhere in between. Call 580-977-9333 or email severinmowing at yahoo.com. Let Brandon Severin make your property look spectacular. We take it to the fourth quarter. 40-point lead for Pond Creek Hunter Timberlake on second down and long. Try to find some running room for Sands. He's stopped by Xavier Smith. Line of scrimmage with a 19. He gets the ball out of the 23, a gain of four, which will still bring up third down at about 15. So third down and 15 for Timberlake at the 22. And Kent to throw this time. Up for grabs. Has a man. And is, oh, it's caught dropped. It. He, he did catch he it. He caught it. That catch was made Pippen. by J.J. Pippen. Big play for the Tigers. Yep. Across midfield of the 42-yard line. Move the change. First down. He was tackled by Mason Schaefer. Yeah, and he had good coverage that time. Right there with him, it's well-thrown ball. 35-yard hookup. Yep. Pippen's first catch of the night. So Timberlake says, we may be down by 40 points, but we are not wanting to go home early. We are wanting to play this one to the final gun, and who knows what can happen. First and 10 from the 42-yard line. Kent this time is leveled behind the line of scrimmage. Is, Claflin. Man, he, big big boy, yeah. Kellen Claflin, 5'11", 280, landed right on top of Devin Kent. Yeah. Loss of one. Don't have to find his number. Number, <laughs> number 70. He, tough guy to move there on the defensive line. Good job of blocking to him from his off into his guard position. So 
So second down and 11. Whoop, dropped that That one. time Pippen couldn't reel it in. Tried to run a little bit. Yep. He knew there he knew there was footsteps coming, so he was trying to run before he got a hold of it. All right. I found the trivia question. I'm going to go ahead and read it out there. If you know the answer to the trivia question, let us know at Scordle on Twitter. We've got some uh, Scordle swag for you. David Kerr and Brian Severn have been winning games for over two decades. Who has more career wins, and how many wins does he have? And it's close. I will tell you this. Who's got the more career wins between Coach Kerr and Coach Severin? And how many? Kent to throw right side. Has a oh. man laid out and incomplete. As Alec Judd on the dive. Good coverage, though, by Mason Schaefer. It'll bring up fourth down and 11. Coach Kerr, Coach Severin, both over two decades of service, 27 years at Timberlake for Coach Severin, 21 at Pond Creek Hunter for David Kerr. I will say that one of them has won four more games than the other one has in their career. Who and how many? Play action. This time Kerr throws, or excuse me, uh, he throws it up. It's intercepted. Kent with the pick. Miggy. It's Fisher Miggy. Yep. And Pond Creek Hunter will take over. It's a fourth down play, so. But another turnover. That is now five turnovers in the ball game for for a Timberlake. And Pond Creek Hunter takes over first down and ten from the 41-yard line. 9.38 to play. It goes without saying, but I will go ahead and say it because it is my job. If Pond Creek Hunter can come down and score, the game will come to an end on the 45-point mercy rule. I'm just saying. Handoff up the middle. Running room for Noah across midfield. No, it's Hamblin. The nuts. Yeah, it's Nick Hamblin. Look for the socks. Dylan Sloop on the tackle. So Nick Hamblin with the nice carry to the 50-yard line will gain nine. He's got 50 yards rushing on 10 carries now. As we'll tick down under nine minutes to play in this one. Winner of this game will take on either way, Noka or Tipton. That is a heck of a ball game tonight in Weatherford. Ronk pushes the pile for the first down. Needed one, got two to the 48, moved the chains. He was stopped by Braxton Buller. Move the chains, put the clock back in motion. Pond Creek Hunter is in Timberlake territory. Looks like Pond Creek Hunter is going to move on, but you cannot take away from the season that Timberlake has had. The biggest turnaround in school history. They go from 2-8 and eight last year. They come into this one 9-3 and three in a trip to the state semifinals. One game away from state. Last time they won state, 2009. With Brian Severn at the head, the head coaching job there. Led them to that championship up the Miller. Up the middle, it's, ha it's uh, Hamblin. Hamblin. Schloop on the tackle. So Hamblin down to the 42. Will gain six. So second down and four now from the 42. Tight eye formation, handoff to the fullback again. There goes Hamblin, off left guard to the 30. Gaining 12, first down, Dylan Schloop on the tackle. Boy, we've called his name a lot. First down and 10 at the 30-yard line, seven and a half to play. Stick around post-game. We're going to run through all the scoring and the numbers. We might even have a... Post-game interview up here in the press box. We'll see what we can do about that. And the old ball coach, Coach Turney, will run through all the scores on the Scordle scoreboard. Hopefully we'll have a final on that. 
tip to walk Noka game. First down and 10. It's all Hamblin this time. Down inside the 25 to the 24. Pick it up six. Devin Kent on the stop. Second down and four. Right now, Pond Creek Hunters just pounding it at him. A lot of Nick Hamblin, a healthy dose of Nick Hamblin. Second and four. Hamblin again, the full back. You'll get a couple. Not much of that. No. Nope. Nice stop. Braxton Buller. Yep. So third down and three now. 23 yard line. Winoka just went ahead 42 40. Wow. Fourth quarter. The Railroaders trying to knock off Tipton. That is hard to do. If they do, we'll have a rematch because them and Pompey right. had a t really good game a few weeks ago. Third down up the middle. That's Ronk, I believe, down inside the 15-yard line, down to the 14, picking up nine. Stop made by Merrick Judd. Thirteen carries, seventy-three yards rushing tonight for the quarterback, Jake Ronk. Pond Creek Hunter now has the ball inside the fifteen yard line. If they score, we're we're done. Well, Pond Creek Hunter Way Noka, if that would happen, a couple of Northwest Oklahoma teams, I would bet will be here. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe Enid, I don't know. First down and 10. Can't go there because of their turf. That's right. They pulled up the turf. They have no turf and needed. That's why they haven't had any playoff games this year. Hamlin again. Kyle Nashion on the stop. Down to the 13 yard line. Second down and eight. I just wonder, last time Waynoka, I actually saw, I was doing my homework this week. Way, I want to say, did Waynoka and Pond Creek Hunter, they played for the state championship before, like maybe back in the early 2000s, fumble on the play, and Timberlake may have jumped on it. Seems like I saw a Waynoka matchup with somebody when I was doing my homework, and Pond Creek Hunter just turned it over. Recovered by J.J. Pippen. First turnover of the night for Pond Creek Hunter. So, so Timberlake will take over first down and 10 from the 13-yard line. So much for Pond Creek Hunter ending this one early. Timberlake's going to get another opportunity here. They really struggled offensively without Genlink. Pitch near side to Sands. Sands tackled for no loss, for no gain. Clock will tick, 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 tick down to four minutes to play. Noah Miller, John McGrath in the stop for the Panthers. Under four to play. Glad to have you with us wherever you may be watching around the country or around the world, around the state, wherever on Squirtle, Squirtle.com and the Squirtle app. Pitch near side, Sands will try to turn it up and run, oh man, right head on into a defender and gain a couple to the 15-yard line. He's had a bunch of carries this half, probably more than he wants. Right into Noah Miller. <laughs> because he has met Miller several times. Mm. He, tell you what, I give him credit. He runs the ball hard. 5'10", 
170 pound freshman. He'll be one they'll count on in the future. Yep. Third and eight. This time it's Kent. And Kent gets back to the line of scrimmage, the 15, and that's about it. Tackled by L. Noah Miller in that mix again. Yeah, they got some good kids to build around. You know, yep. sl Sloop's back and Pip Pippin's back. And you got uh, Colton Mormons. No, I guess he's a, no, that's a Carson. Uh, Nacion's a senior, but uh, Sherbin's a sophomore. Merrick Judd is a freshman. Yep. Fourth down and eight. And Devin Kent will stand at his five-yard line to punt this one away. No rush. And it will take a Timberlake roll and die at the 41. So Pond Creek Hunter will take over with 2.22 to play. Pond Creek Hunter will run their record to 13-0. They will beat Timberlake for the second time this season. The Tigers will finish up 9-4. Quite a run. Quite a run for the Tigers. How about that win last week over Southwest Covenant? Yeah, that was a big win. That's a big win. Number one team in yep. Class C. Tells you how good, well, and Waynoka also showing us how good high school football is in this part of the state. Yep. It's like, uh, There's a little quick hitter there and a run across the 45-yard line. That carry is Connor Schapansky. Schapansky tackled by Pippen. How'd you find that number? Because he single, uh, single digit. That's right. <laughs> I know you didn't see the number. You knew it was one number. <laughs> oh, Connor, he number 12. He's a youngster who's and carried the ball 35 times now on the season. Single number and small. You know, it was <laughs> That's right. He picked up seven, actually gave him six. Yeah, those Pond Creek Hunter uniforms, I like it when they run the road uniforms a lot better. Now the ball's loose. It's picked up but going to a knee with Schapansky, so he's down right there, no gain. J.B. Pippen, too, he <laughs> greeted the quarterback. Pop, yep. <laughs> Said, I'm still here. Minute 20 to play in the ball game. Uh, so, Pond Creek Hunter will go back to the championship game for the first time since 2017 and for the third time in four seasons. They lost to Tipton back-to-back and. 16 and 17. Remember that really disappointing championship game where Pond Creek Hunter was Derek Holcomb, the quarterback, early in the contest. And you really felt like they would have won that game. They would have had him. And Chapansky will pick up about three or so, tackled by Alec Judd. 37 seconds to play. They'll have to well, have to play this at least this last play here. Fourth down and four. About a five second, about a six second differential between the game clock and the play clock. You really feel like the talent level in Class C this year, there's not that dominant powerhouse like Pond Creek Hunters run into at Timber at Temple, or excuse me, at uh, Tipton over the last few years. Chapansky will lose. Oh, he's going backwards, and that'll be the ball game as he will be tackled back at the 39-yard line and end up losing some yards, losing about seven, and that'll do it. Congratulations to the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers. They're moving on to the state championship game to await either Tipton or Waynoka. Maybe by the time we get out of here in the postgame show, we'll know who they're going to play. But a very impressive performance by the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers tonight. They win their 13th game of the season against no losses. Timberlake will see their season come to an end, a record of 9-4. and four. Our postgame show begins after this. You're watching the Scordal Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino has what you need to keep your business rolling, whether over the road or on the farm. 
Sturgeon's tractor and truck sales has a current selection of highway and farm trucks to get the job done for you. From sleepers, day cabs, and grain trucks to dump trucks and more. Give Sturgeon's tractor and truck sales a call at 580-776-2245. Sturgeon's tractor and truck sales in Mino. Whether it's football or banking, talent, effort, and teamwork are essential elements in winning the game. At the First State Bank of Pond Creek, they've been providing consumer, commercial, and agricultural banking services since 1893. With a full-service banking facility in the Heritage Hill Shopping Center in Enid and their main branch in Pond Creek, you'll never have to drive far for that personal banking touch. Find them on the web at fsbpondcreek.com. The First State Bank in Pond Creek backs the Panthers in tonight's game. Member FDIC. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. It was weeks before Christmas when Janssen GMC started preparing themselves for the crowd they would see. Out on the lot, there arose such a clatter of salesmen and inventory and a great deal that mattered. For Acadias and Sierras, pre-owned and new, Yukon's Denali's and other vehicles too. Shop on the web or come see us on site at Janssen GMC. We'll treat you just right. Happy Holidays! Janssen GMC. Drive a little, save a lot. Alfalfa Electric Cooperative in Cherokee, Oklahoma is proud to be member owned. We have been providing affordable and dependable service to communities in Oklahoma and Kansas since 1937. Ask about our Smart Hub app where you can pay your bills, report outages, and check usage. At Alfalfa Electric Cooperative, we strive every day to be the best we can be, and we encourage all our local athletes to do the same. Go Chiefs! Wilson Funeral Home is a proud sponsor of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers football team. Since 1929, Wilson Funeral Home's professional and caring staff has helped to ease families' burdens during difficult time of loss. For assistance in the preparation of a personal memorial service for your loved one, contact Wilson Funeral Home in Pond Creek at 580-532-4222. Everyone at Wilson Funeral Home wishes the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and their supporters good luck. Let Butch and Arnie at BA Tire and Automotive in Pond Creek help with your automotive repair needs. We use up-to-date diagnostic equipment to identify and fix your car's problem. We're located at 510 West Aspen in Pond Creek. Give us a call at 580-532-6233 or check us out on Facebook at BA Tire and Automotive LLC. Our regular hours are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. We look forward to seeing you soon. Nathan Crow at Farmers Insurance is Grant County's hometown insurance agent. For auto, home, renters, business, life insurance, and more, Nathan is a local caring agent who will personally meet with you and find the policies that best suit you. At Farmers, they love discounts. Teachers, librarians, doctors, RNs, law enforcement, firefighter, military, and others. No insurance company offers more. Call Nathan Crow at 580-395-3333 or stop by his office at 102 East Cherokee in Medford. Planning an auction? Look no further. Back at Ranger Field in Alva, putting the wraps on a big win for the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers on their way to the state championship game. No trouble with Timberlake tonight. The final score, 48 Two eight. Let's go back and recap the scoring in this one. First of all, Pond Creek Hunter scored 849 to play in the first quarter. A 17-yard run by Noah Miller. Two-point conversion, no good. Six to nothing. Pond Creek Hunter. Timberlake with the answer a couple of drives later. They scored a nine-play 65-yard drive in two minutes and 39 seconds. It was Ethan Gentling to Alec Judd for the eight-yard touchdown pass to cap that drive, and they took the lead on the two-point conversion pass from Gentling to Merrick Judd, 8-6 to six, Timberlake led, 3.56 to play in the first quarter. Didn't take long for Pond Creek Hunter to answer back. Four plays, 65 yards in 2 minutes and 6 seconds. Noah Miller, a big 56-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion run, no good. 1.50 to play in the first half, or first quarter, excuse me. And Pond Creek Hunter jumped back on top, 12-8. to eight. Timberlake turned it over on a fumble, gave the ball to Pond Creek Hunter at the Timberlake 47-yard line. They scored in eight plays, covered 47 yards. Quarterback Jake Ronk from one yard out, two-point conversion run, no good. Ten-point ball game at 9.39 to play in the first half, 18-8 to the score. Another empty trip by Timberlake. Pond Creek Hunter capitalized, starting from their own 22-yard line. They score five plays, 78 yards, and 220. 
Noah Miller from two yards out, and Miller got the two-point conversion run to make it 26-8 with 5.39 to play in the first half. And they scored again. The Panthers did a one-yard run by Jake Ronk with 1.27 to play in the quarter. Capped a six-play, 27-yard drive after an interception. That pick was made by Corbin Burnham. And the two-point conversion run by Miller made it 34-8. to That was the score at halftime. Pine Creek Hunter on top, 34-8. to Pine Creek Hunter scored on their second drive of the second half, a four-play, 42-yard drive after another Timberlake turnover in a minute and a half. Uh, Miller with the seven-yard touchdown run. The two-point conversion pass was no good, made it 40-8 to with 8.18 to play in the contest. And the last scoring of the contest happened with 113 to play in the third. A 12-yard run by Jake Ronk from the 25-yard line after a, a Timberlake interception. 25-yard drive in five plays. Two minutes and 29 seconds. Two-point conversion run by Miller to make it 48-8. to And that is your final score as Pond Creek Hunter with the win plays for the state championship with a record of 13-0, and and during the break, Waynoka just scored again. They've got a 10-point lead on Tipton in the fourth quarter. We'll see if we can get a final on that before we get out of here. We'll take a break, run through the numbers when we come back. You're watching the Scordal Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance. Planning an auction? Look no further than JKJ Real Estate and Auction Company to sell your real estate, farm machinery, vehicles, and equipment. Contact Keith James and Enid, Lon Sturgeon and Mino, Doug Walker and Crescent, Chad Reb and Helena, or LD Rapp and Wakita. Let their hardworking and experienced staff conduct a successful auction for you. Since 1968, JKJ Auction and Real Estate has been helping you say, sold, at 1301 East Willow in Enid, 580-233-9800 and jkjauction.com. Score that perfect design at Touchdown Graphics just north of the curve in Pond Creek. They offer screen printing and embroidery on t-shirts, shorts, hoodies, and more. Show your spirit for your school, team, club, or special event with a custom design from Touchdown Graphics. Call 580-532-4579 or see them online at touchdowngraphics.com. Touchdown Graphics, it's good. Pros with Squirtle Live. Find out more at squirtle.com slash stream. Don't let the name fool you. Greasy Steve can cook. Greasy Steve's Food Prep Company is Pond Creek's tastiest dining experience. Let Greasy Steve do the cooking. He does it all. Steaks, chicken, shrimp, catfish, burgers, and salads. Don't miss Wednesday night shrimp, chicken fried steak on Thursday, all-you-can-eat catfish on Friday night, and aged ribeyes on Friday and Saturday night. Stop in and say hi to Greasy Steve on the curve on the west side of Pond Creek. Just be nice because it ain't easy being greasy. Back with you at Ranger Field in Alva. Final score 48 to 8. The win for the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers over Timberlake and Pond Creek Hunter moving on to the state championship game. Let's go back and recap some numbers for you really quick. First of all, for Timberlake, they had 26 rushes for 69 yards. Leading the way on the ground was Ethan Genlink, two carries for 27 yards. Devin Kent had 12 for 25. Through the air, Genlink and Judd and Kent combined to go 5 of 16 for 63 yards. One touchdown pass and three interceptions. So 42 offensive plays for Timberlake, 132 total yard for the Tigers in the contest. Alec Judd had that touchdown reception of eight yards in the ball game for the Tigers. For Pond Creek Hunter, they had 56 rushes for 419 yards. Noah Miller, 24 for 267. And he had four rushing touchdowns as well. Nick Hamblin, 15 carries for 78. And Jake Ronk, 13 carries for 73. Jake had three rushing touchdowns as well tonight in the contest. Through the air, Jake goes two for four for 13 yards. 60 offensive plays for 432 total yards for Pond Creek Hunter in the ball game. They win big, 48-8. to eight. We'll take a break, and we're going to talk to the stars of the show, Coach David Kerr for Pond Creek Hunter 
and the uh, author of a 267-yard rushing night, Noah Miller, when we come back. This is the game of the week on Scordle. Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek is a fan of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and is a proud supporter of all the Grant County student athletes. Call Chad at 580-747-9367 for all your plumbing needs. Whether residential, commercial, new construction, remodeling, or repairs, he has the solution for your plumbing situation. Full professional services and upfront pricing. Grant County's answer to your plumbing issues is Chad Teft at Teft Plumbing in Pond Creek. 580-747-9367. The High Plains Insurance Agency takes pride in keeping up with many changes in the crop insurance industry and keeping their insurers informed of these changes. The goal is to help each farmer customize their crop insurance to meet their needs. Thanks for your continued business. And remember, call Amy, Carissa, or Danny at High Plains Insurance in Medford and Loyal at 580-395-2447 or toll free at 1-800-346-4056 for a quote today. For generations, the FFA has been helping our children through agriculture to grow into responsible adults. We believe in and we support the work being done by our local FFA chapters and all they do to create an enriching experience for our youth. For all you do, you have our thanks. Farm Credit of Enid. Together, we grow. Severin Mulling in Goultree is proud to support the Timberlake Tigers in tonight's game. Brandon Severin can make your yard or area look great. He can provide many services, mowing, weed eating, edging, leaf and sidewalk blowing, and more. He will service customers throughout the area, Enid, Goultry, Kremlin, and anywhere in between. Call 580-977-9333 or email severinmowing at yahoo.com. Let Brandon Severin make your property look spectacular. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino has what you need to keep your business rolling, whether over the road or on the farm. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales has a current selection of highway and farm trucks to get the job done for you. From sleepers, day cabs, and grain trucks to dump trucks and more. Give Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales a call at 580-776-2245. Sturgeon's Tractor and Truck Sales in Mino. Pond Creek Hunter is on to the state championship. A 48-8 win over Timberlake tonight at the Ranger Field in Alva. We're joined by Pond Creek Hunter head coach David Kerr and Coach, congratulations. We've had a chance to uh, do some state championship games together, you coaching me up here in the press box. And I uh, won't get a chance to broadcast next week, but I'm looking forward to maybe sitting in the press box and finding out and kind of watching you guys and being a fan for a change. I hope I hope, uh, I hope, you do get to enjoy that. So we're looking forward to it. I mean, we were kind of back where we wanted to be, you know, at the start of the year. That was kind of our goal to get back there. And we've kind of just tried to take it one game at a time. And you know, now that we're there, now we've got to go take take advantage and do something about it. Talk about playing a team in the state semifinals from your district that you're familiar with, that you played a tough game with back in September, and uh, your, your mindset going into that. Well, you know, it's always, you always hear that about trying to beat a team, good team twice. And, I mean, Timberlake obviously is a good team because to be where they're at, I mean, no doubt they're a good team. And so that always concerns you. And, you know, they did play stuff. They did some stuff to us the first game that uh, caused us a few problems. And so we tried to go back and make adjustments and, um, you know, trying to worry about ourselves because, I, I, you know, there's was, there was a few things that first game that I don't think we did very well and we've learned from it. Obviously, that was early. That was week four. And so – uh, we thought we were a lot better football team at, at this point in the season, but uh, it still concerns you playing a district opponent that's so familiar with you, and um, that always is a big concern. I thought the quick answer to when Timberlake grabbed that lead in the first quarter, the quick answer, including the, the 56-yard touchdown run by Noah Miller on the ensuing drive, was big. Yeah, it was. You know, obviously we gave them good field position with the kickoff return and then the penalty, and so giving them that short field, and we kind of did that to them. Uh, you know, the first game we gave them a lot of short field opportunities, and and, you know, you can't give a team like Timberlake that's good uh, short fields and, and, you know, expect to hold them out all the time, even though our defense was playing well. But um, they're going to make plays. I mean, they're again, they're in that position because, uh, I mean, they're in the semifinals for a reason. And so um, I thought it was a big, big possession right there uh, to answer, to go back up and kind of get our momentum going back again. I know that they surprised you a little bit the first time around throwing the football as much as they did. You were not surprised tonight. No, we were really, really t took uh, 
took a lot of, I mean, did a lot of work this week on our on our, on our pass game. And you know, when their their quarterback went out in the second quarter, or whenever it was, you know, um, that you know that kind of hurt their passing game, obviously. But uh, I think really we were prepared uh, for what they were going to do to us in the passing game this 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 week. And uh, you know, we really spent a lot of time this week on the preparation. And I think our de- defensive coaches did a great job of preparing us all week. I know that now you get to sit back and just wait for the scores like we are from the game down in Weatherford tonight and a couple of good storylines there. If Tipton wins, you play them next week. you got that history from a few years ago. It seems like you play them every darn year in the playoffs, yeah, we do. including the state championship a couple of times coming up short. If it's Waynoka, it's another team from, you know, team you've played before and played a tough ball game against. They darn near had you, and you had to hold on late to win that game. Yeah, you're right. And so we know either team, I, I told the guys down there a while ago in our huddle that uh, you know we don't care who we play we we're just excited for this opportunity and whoever it is that uh We'll, you know, we'll go do our best. But like you said, here's a couple good stories, you know, Tipton that we have. They've beat us out the last three years in the playoffs. And, again, Winoka, another district opponent. Again, another team you're going to have to try to beat twice. Um, you know, played us really tough at our place uh, in the middle of the year. And so, uh, again, we'll be familiar with either team. Yep. And so uh, we'll just go and try to have a good week of preparation and go see what happens. Well, us Northwest Oklahoma football fans wouldn't mind seeing a couple of Northwest Oklahoma teams battling for the gold ball. Uh, no doubt. I, I think uh, – I think our district uh, top to bottom this year yep. has proved that it's by far the best in Class C. You know, we were real close to having four teams in the yep. semifinals. And so, I, you know, I think our district really prepared us this year. Um, we've talked about that all year. Even our even our teams that finished sixth, seventh, and eighth in our district were really good football teams. Um, just too bad they had to be put in this district because, uh, said, I think uh, I think Northwest Oklahoma and Class C football is by far the best, no Co- doubt. Coach, congratulations. Hey, I appreciate it, Tom. Let's make this awkward switch right now and get <laughs> Noah Miller in here. He's going to have to cross all under some cords and and uh, grab the headphones. Can you jump in here, Noah? There you go. Your last run of the night right here. And you had a big night, son. Uh, you uh, 24 carries for 267, four rushing touchdowns. And we said that touchdown run that you had, the 56-yard run, after they'd taken that lead, I thought that was the momentum changer. You took the momentum from them, and after that, you just cruised. Yes, sir. Tell me a little bit about how your last few years at Pond Creek Hunter have been and how big it is for you to get a chance after getting beaten in the semifinals a year ago to playing for that gold ball next week. Well, it all started when I got here at the end, uh, at the end of the basketball. I came here and I thought that they just had a really upsetting situation that happened at, at for them at State Yeah. with Derek Holcomb going down yep. early in the first quarter and then uh, Coach Kerr's son stepping up and – working them, keeping them that close in the game and just couldn't break away and pull it out. But I came in and I was put in right into the program just like that. Uh, I started at outside linebacker as a sophomore and we worked our way right back up to state again. Couldn't pull it out. I fractured my ankle, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but I, <laughs> um, that happened. And then I got started working back up, got back into the groove, junior year we go out we work our way through get to semifinals go up against Tipton again couldn't pull it out <laughs> and now we're right back where we're supposed to be I believe I know that you don't care who you play next week but I just got a feeling from the way you're talking you wouldn't mind playing Tipton no sir I'm ready I'm <laughs> ready I'm ready for another shot tell me a bit about your teammates and your, your senior class you've been working with and your teammates who have helped you get to where you are right now well let's start with the quarterback Jake Ronk he's been underneath Derek Holcomb, Tyler Kerr. He's just been watching all these great – Waiting for his time. Waiting for his time. And now he has and He's proven a lot this year. I didn't know how he was going to do, but he's proved out. He's shown out. Um, Our guards, Kellen Claflin and Xavier Smith, without them, I couldn't do what I do. They pull – they create holes bigger than – well, I need, honestly, <laughs> but they do it. And then our our end, Fisher Meggy, he makes big-time plays when we need him, but he's also a great blocker, and he knows his role. He does what he needs to do, but when we need him, he's there. And then we have our fullback, uh, Nick Hamblin. He gets the ball just almost just as much as I do, and he's pounding it up the middle, up yep. the middle, up the middle, and then – Coach switches it up, gives it back to me, and I hit it on the outside, and then I just scored like the 56-yard uh, yep. run. 
you know what, you look, you're going to go on and play football at the next level. Yes, and, you know, that that's huge for you, playing eight-man football, to get a chance to play college football. And I would imagine you'd probably say you can't do it without your last couple of years of Punk Reconner. <laughs> yes, sir, I couldn't. One last thing before you go, I want you to just give me an give me a feeling what's going on in that locker room right now and how those kids are feeling about getting to play one more time, one more time as a group. Well, I believe our seniors are ready. They've had this shot the last four years. They're ready for another shot at it, and they're, they've are they proven all year that they want that gold ball this year, I believe. We'll let you get out of here and go down and celebrate with your teammates, and good luck next week as you play for that gold ball against either Tipton or Waynoka. Thanks. Yes, good sir. job, man. Thank you, sir. You betcha. We'll take a break and be right back and put a wrap on our broadcast tonight. Once again, 48-8 to the final as Pond Creek kind of rolls on to the Class C Championship game next week. You're watching the Game of the Week on Squirtle. Whether it's football or banking, talent, effort, and teamwork are essential elements in winning the game. At the First State Bank of Pond Creek, they've been providing consumer, commercial, and agricultural banking services since 1893. With a full-service banking facility in the Heritage Hill Shopping Center in Enid and their main branch in Pond Creek, you'll never have to drive far for that personal banking touch. Find them on the web at fsbpondcreek.com. The First State Bank in Pond Creek backs the Panthers in tonight's game. Member FDIC. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. It was weeks before Christmas when Jansen GMC started preparing themselves for the crowd they would see. Out on the lot, there arose such a clatter of salesmen and inventory and a great deal that mattered. For Acadias and Sierras, pre-owned and new, Yukon's Denali's and other vehicles too. Shop on the web or come see us on site at Jansen GMC. We'll treat you just right. Happy Holidays! Jansen GMC. Drive a little, save a lot. Alfalfa Electric Cooperative in Cherokee, Oklahoma is proud to be member owned. We have been providing affordable and dependable service to communities in Oklahoma and Kansas since 1937. Ask about our Smart Hub app where you can pay your bills, report outages, and check usage. At Alfalfa Electric Cooperative, we strive every day to be the best we can be, and we encourage all our local athletes to do the same. Go Chiefs! Wilson Funeral Home is a proud sponsor of the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers football team. Since 1929, Wilson Funeral Home's professional and caring staff has helped to ease families' burdens during difficult time of loss. For assistance in the preparation of a personal memorial service for your loved one, contact Wilson Funeral Home in Pond Creek at 580-532-4222. Everyone at Wilson Funeral Home wishes the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers and their supporters good luck. Tom Nelson, Coach Randy Turney, back with you one more time, putting the wrap on a big win for Pond Creek Hunter tonight over Timberlake. The final score is 48-8. to And Before we let Coach get to the scores, as he is right now, a lot of games are coming down to it, I want to ask you once about, once again, and we heard it during the interviews, Pond Creek Hunter, they've been through so much the past couple, three years, getting to the precipice and not being able to win that gold ball. Uh, they'll most likely go in favored next week, whoever they play. Yeah, they're going to play Lenoka, looks like, yeah. because they're up 18 with about two minutes to go. So, And they've already played them once this yep. year, but it was a close game. 16-12, so. to 12, Pond Creek Hunter beat Waynoka that night, and it looks like it's going to be an all-Northwest Oklahoma championship game. It is, and uh, Coach Glover said it'll probably be right here at Ranger Field. Yep. So. yep. That, that's what we can't expect. That will be awesome next week. Uh, that's going to be tremendous. A Northwest Oklahoma, two teams from the same district, and, of course, two teams from the same district playing in the semifinal here tonight. Noah Miller seems like a good kid. Great kid. Got some Waukegan blood in him, so yeah. he's got to be a good kid. And he's going to go play college football the next level in the KCAC up in Kansas at uh, – Bethel College and be a thresher. Get me some of those scores. Pull up your sheet right there real quick. You've been going over the Squirtle scoreboard. What do we got? Well, we've been keeping track. They got their game on the Winoka games on the radio. A couple of <laughs> over boosts. the PA. Yeah, over here the pay, PA, and it was 66-48, but I heard they just scored again. So, whatever. Wow. Winoka's going to win for sure because there's less than two minutes to go. So, we're going to have Winoka and Pond Creek Hunter uh, for the Class C state championship. Uh, Shattuck have no trouble with Durer, uh, 62-28. 
Uh, Davenport defeated Pioneer 54 to nothing. Uh, Cherokee and Canadian, that game was 42 to 16 in the second quarter. And I just pulled it up a while ago in the fourth quarter. It's now Cherokee 42 and Canadian 42. Whoa. So that's coming down the wire. Uh, the winner of that game would play Alec or Regent Prep. Uh, Regent Prep was leading 34 to 6. In Cass A, Cashin defeated Barnsdall 28 to 6. They'll play Pawnee next Ooh. week. Pawnee had no trouble with Mangum uh, 64 to 7. Wow. Uh, Rejoice Christian in Class A was ahead of Thomas 47-28 late in the ball game, and Ringling was leading Pawhuska 22-12. So looks like probably Ringling and Rejoice Christian in one semifinals and Pawnee and Cashin in the other semifinals. In 2A, Beggs was – hammering Lindsay 52-7 to seven at halftime. Wow. So, uh, Bex sure. was good. They beat Chisholm they, last they week. They did. And uh, Metro Christian, the number one team in 2A, was ahead of Washington 41-13. Bayan was leading Adair 23 to nothing, And Kingston and Perry in the third quarter was tied up 7-7. Seven to seven. In 3A, the final, Lincoln Christian, number two, Defeats number one, Heritage Hall, 33-6. to six. Wow. Them winning's not uh, that big a deal, but 33-6 to yeah, six that is. is a pretty big deal. Uh, so Lincoln Christian will play Plainview next week for the 3A state championship because they were leading uh, Vertigus 55-7 to seven late in that ball game. And 4A, uh, Weatherford defeated Tuttle this afternoon, 16-7. to seven. They will face the winner of Wagner and Poto. That game was three to nothing at halftime. Wagner was leading. Had a late start, I believe, it, because of it, weather. It did. And 5A, uh, Bishop McGinnis defeated Bishop Kelly this afternoon, 47-22. Uh, they will play Carl Albert, a team that's in their district. That mm -hmm. They played a couple of weeks ago, but they will play for the state championship. And 5A will be Carl Albert and Bishop McGinnis. In 6A2, the number one team and the number two team, Bisbee, Bigsby and Stillwater will play. Oh, that's going to be a good one. Everybody's looking <laughs> that's forward to it. going to be a good one. They've been number one and number two all yep. year. And 6 and, pound, and pounding people. You bet. In 6A1, it'll be Owasa and Jinx next week. Very, very good. It's been a fun night of high school football here in Alva, and the Pond Creek Hunter Panthers are moving on to the state championship as they beat Timberlake 48 to 8. Pond Creek Hunter now 13 and 0 on the season. But what a what a nice run. Let's talk about this Timberlake team real quick before we let you go, because Brian Severin, class guy with a class program, and uh, you know two and set or two and eight a year ago to the state semifinals this year. You know when you play a Brian Severin team, no matter how much talent he's got. Or, you know, or lack of talent, you know you're going to get a good fight every oh, night. Oh, yeah, they're always well prepared. Yep. He, he's been uh, – you played for Ray Trout, you yep. know, and he, he's been there 27 years. He knows the kids. Uh, that's where he grew up, uh, just a class <laughs> class guy, and the, his kids are always well prepared. He's got a – you know, if you look at his coaching staff that helps him, they've been there a long time yeah. too. Yeah. They've yep. stayed together, and yep. that really helps when you have some continuity. We'll be somewhere next Friday night, most likely. Have some ideas. We won't tell you right now, but uh, at least one more Squirtle game of the week coming your way. And what a great crew tonight. Big ups to Ethan Sunken, who is doing the producing and engineering tonight. And, of course, Trey Robinson doing the camera work. John Cope up here spotting for me. Adam Dieselhorst, of course, keeps us all in line. You know, that's, that's his job is to keep us in line and keep everybody happy. And, of course, the old ball coach, Randy Turney, glad to have you back this week. And you going to be with me next week? I plan on it. Looking forward to it. All right. One more time, your final score tonight. Congratulations, Pond Creek Hunter. Getting back to that state championship game for the third time in four years. No trouble with Timberlake tonight. The final score, 48-8. to eight. You've been watching the Scordal High School Football Game of the Week presented by High Plains Insurance. Good night, everybody. Have a great rest of your Thanksgiving weekend. <laughs>